Oh dear, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Because as you can see by the title of this video, we are attempting to play starters orders again. Now things are going to be differently this time around. Uh, for one, I'm playing on normal. Uh, two, I'm actually going to give this game a shot, which means I'm actually going to try to learn things, which means it's going to take a while. This game is very in-depth, it's very deep, and I think the average gamer would be overwhelmed by this game. So for those of you that play this game, and it's really a small few of you, and you're really good at it, that's great, but keep that in mind. All of us kind of learn and adapt to things at a different level. So we're starting a new playthrough here with Starter's Orders. Today's episode is going to be longer. Uh, I'll be recording it in several parts because, um, uh, yeah, it's going to be probably like an hour and a half to a two hour long episode. I'm doing some testing. I will be posting disclaimers before each episode because last time I've played this game, um, there's always uh, those few people that you know, really get mad at me for playing the game the way I play it. And my response to you is, if you don't like the way I play the game, if you get annoyed by watching me play this game, or if you uh, get mad, anything along those lines, you are not being forced to watch this video, please. I will put that up as a disclaimer in probably most of these videos. Um, I'll shorten it over time. And um, anybody that is leaving comments that just aren't helpful, I mean, people disguise disrespect and negativity as constructive criticism, you're just going to be shadow banned. Like, I'm sending you to the shadow realm, I'm sending you to Azkaban. It's as simple as that. We have a very positive community here, and we don't need people like that here. So, if you want to join us and have good vibes, have good positive feedback that can help me improve, that is all welcome. But anything else that's complete opposite, you're going to be shadow banned. You're going to Azkaban, the Dementors will have their fun with you. That's all I got to say. So, let's get into it. We're going to do trainer and owner. I'm doing everything. Um... Small field does not apply to future races. You know, this option, I haven't really tested it out because I'm not sure exactly. Some fields aren't even that long, to be honest. So I'll keep that traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, auto days? What, for mega cards, retain? Okay, whatever. Um, horse racing gamer? Yes. Uh, we'll do silks and caps. Of course, we're going to do our channel colors, which is green and orange, green, pink, and orange, something along those lines wherever I can. Um, I wish you could do custom silks. Apparently you can't. So maybe there's a way to, but I'll keep this simple just looking through to see if there's anything that I like. Uh, that isn't bad. I might do that. Cap. Let's do um, so kind of a breaking cap and the reserve cap. I mean, I don't know if it really makes a difference. So yes, I'm giving this game a shot. I know I made a video a while ago saying I wasn't going to play it. But to be honest, this game... um. I do want to learn more about this game, since I think this is the most realistic horse racing game to date. So I'm willing to give it a shot. Um, it does help the channel grow as well. I'm still all about growth, which not only just helps this channel, it helps the other channels in our community. So I'm kind of doing this for the community. Uh, not to put myself on a pedestal as some great whatever. No, it's just, you know, if this channel can grow, more eyes on this channel means more eyes on the other channels um, that are also participating um, and playing horse racing games on YouTube. And, and I want that for everybody, truthfully. So we have legends in here. Uh, we'll keep that as they are. Um, let's skip. We essentially go to next. And I'm going to really take my time with everything. Um, I'm going to make sure I get horses that I think are going to help me win because in previous experiences, I've always just gotten just random horses and then I'm wondering why I'm having, you know, pretty bad results. So I'm going to try to play this smart, but again, it's going to take time. Um, this is a very, very, very in-depth game. This is not like Gallup Racer. This is not like Rival Stars. And I think some of the people that are really experienced in this game, they forget that because they're so good at it. They just assume, oh yeah, just play for two days. You'll be fine. It's like, no, dude, this is a game you have to play for probably weeks, maybe even months to really get familiar with it. A lot of very in-depth uh, video games take a while to get good now everybody's learning curves and their pace is different but yeah you know i, I think that that is pretty pretty commonly known um so i just ask for patience okay like I, I don't know what happened to like being patient these days i just ask for patience while i actually try to give this game a legitimate shot this is i think try number three i think things are going to actually work this time around i'm committed to it even if it gets hard even if it gets difficult i'm sure i'll have that random you know, annoying uh, Neanderthal that'll pop up in the comments every blue moon. You don't know what you're doing in this game, man. Like, dude, go watch somebody else. Nobody wants you here. I don't want you here. The supporters don't want you here. Just, just go, just go, you know, 
be somewhere else you know go to the beach go to a river take off your shoes kick rocks you know and just and just have fun you know but leave us alone that's the main thing all right all that aside here we are so we have one hundred seventy thousand dollars um in money to spend and uh gosh it's a lot it's a lot in this game so first things first do we already have horses Oh, we do. I keep, I keep forgetting. The game already gives you a couple horses to start with. Okay. So, let's see. We have a two-year-old filly. We have a three-year-old colt and a four-year-old filly. Um, has anybody won a race yet? Career zero, zero, zero out of six, one out of 18. Okay, so Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley is the only horse that has actually won a race for us. Now, looking at everybody, let's go ahead and check out Musique. Musique Magique. <laughs> Uh, like I said, two-year-old bay, beautiful. Um, let's see, average build, preference is a muddy track, so it likes the slop conditions, and usually likes to run at about one mile. Okay, so uh, the finesse is, or the fitness is not bad, above 50%, as judging by these bars. I'm going to treat this metric, these bars, a uh, zero, which means all the way at the bottom, and I would say 100 is all the way at the top. So I'm going to say... Um, Let's go, uh, let's go from right to left. So this is acceleration. Acceleration is actually really good. I would say this is probably at about a 70, maybe close to an 80. Stamina is not good. So that's a little bit annoying, especially if the horse wants to run a mile. Uh, speed is not great either. Conditioning is fantastic and fitness is okay. Don't know how I feel about this horse. I mean, great acceleration, no stamina, little speed. This, to me, sounds like a horse that needs to be running like five, six, maybe seven furlongs max, not a mile. Huh. Interesting. Um, I'm going to put this horse with... I'm going to do blinkers and a nose. Well, I can only do one. Okay, I'll just do a nose band for now. Um, I haven't really experimented with that in this game. So keep in mind, there's a lot of things I'm going to be doing as experimentation things. Especially since this is a game that I haven't really tried to understand at a deeper level. So it's going to be a lot of trial and error. And I will figure it out as I always do. And this is the horse's stats in more detail. Um, so potential rating, eh, not great. Um, you guys can read all of these. You can pause uh, this video if you want to read all these in more detail. I don't think it's necessary. But I will kind of pinpoint um, certain categories that I think are actually uh, important to look at. So maturity rate. Um, this bar has nothing, so I don't know. Juvenile constitution. Uh, this uh, the higher this bar, the higher the potential for this horse to take more racing as a youngster. Okay, going source, uh, going surface adaptability. Um, so yeah, this horse, Music Magic, Magic, such a weird tongue tongue twister name, can perform over a lot of distances. Um, this horse, uh, the potential of horses form as deteriorate as it ages. So this horse is a quick, quick um, developing horse, probably only going to be good for a year, a year, honestly. Finish application. We'll finish strong at the end, I hope. So, I mean, not a bad horse, but I'm not running it at a mile. I, I just don't think that'll make sense. Requires more work to improve his fitness level. Okay, so let's look at our other horses. Um, let's go back here. Uh, no, I didn't want to go there. And I keep forgetting that the navigating in this game is a little bit weird. I, I, I It's taking some time. I think we have a gray. I'll, I'll check on that in a minute. Um... So let's look at Spanish Acclaim. This horse is a three-year-old colt, if I'm not mistaken. Surprised it actually doesn't show you their age on this page, unless I'm looking straight at it. That's really, oh no, at the top, duh, Eric. Three-year-old colt, but I was right. Um, rating is 70, so not good. Average build, likes good tracks. Um, nice looking bay there. Bay five is the coloring. Likes to run a mile, or at least the breeding indicator says a mile. Um, and G2, does that actually represent group two and grade twos in this game? If anybody does know, uh, feel free to let me know that in the comment section below. That's a genuine question. So we look at that. Um, I want to look at the form summary as far as these races are concerned at the bottom. But actually, let's take a look at the stats. So again, good acceleration, bad stamina. This horse is very similar to our other one, the two-year-old fiddly we were just looking at. I wonder if breeding them just to see again it's gonna be a lot of experimentation so please be mindful of that uh, there's gonna be a, a lot of things i'll do that'll probably irritate people but you're just kind of gonna have to deal with it as i learn this game like have faith that i'm doing this to learn and anybody that's been watching me for years you know i like to experiment with things a lot and what usually happens nine out of ten times i get it figured out 
I'm like a scientist, man. I, I like mentally, as far as games are concerned, I really like to experiment with things and figure out what works best for me. So let's look at the form here at the bottom. Um, these are six races. Uh, three were at five furlongs. One was at six furlongs. This one was seven furlongs. Uh, maiden, maiden, handicaps, blah, blah, blah. And a one mile grade three. Um, well placed early, close up halfway, weakened. So all these notes pretty much say the horse weakens at the end. Um, outpaced finish. That's a little bit concerning. Yeah, led to the final furlong. And so I wonder if this horse would be better served running as a closer. I might have to put that in the jockey notes before each race. Run this horse as a closer or stalk because clearly it's fading out at the end. And uh, hasn't won a race yet. Best result was a second place finish uh, going seven furlongs against two-year-olds with the handicap uh, in an open. And you see the horse's rating. So right here in the rating column, I'll highlight this column. Next to it, you see the rating number, which is 49, where my mouse finger is pointing. So this horse, about a year ago, is rated 49, 66, 67, 71. Has improved, but after the last grade three, the horse's rating actually dropped back to a 70. So that probably, don't think this is a horse that's going to be running at any group or graded uh, races. All right, so that's that horse. And let's look at the last one, our only winner. I could get to it. Okay, let me move this a little bit. It's kind of getting in my way. You guys may see me moving things around with my capture software uh, borders, which is fine. Okay, and last but not least, Hidden Valley. Um, no, I, what, huh? No, Hidden Valley, whatever I clicked on, okay. And then we'll look at Hidden Valley. Now, beautiful, light gray. You guys know I love grays. Um, fantastic looking horse 72 73 rating I don't know what LRW or LWR means average build likes a heavy track disposition is normal this horse has really good fitness conditioning is good speed is pretty bad but stamina acceleration are much better and breeding indicator obviously indicates this horse definitely likes to run at a mile and two furlongs okay so this chart is also nice race and rating progression chart so it shows you basically the ratings at how your horse, I guess, progresses over its, its racing career. So as you can see, the horse started off rated 59, which you can see is the first little blue dot. It's probably hard to see the dots, but you guys can see this whole green line. So we'll go from left to right. 2018, the horse started off with a rating of 59. And as you can gradually see, as we have gotten closer to where we are in the game now, which is 2019, the horse's rating has increased, but... But it has been on a drop-off as of the last couple of months. So I don't know if that means the horse has peaked or if the horse has just been running in the wrong races. Now, a lot of these are just opens at a mile. I don't see any graded races. Been in some maidens, um, selling race, yada, yada, yada. Grade 1 Alabama, finished fourth in that race. That's not bad. That's really not a bad result for a grade 1. Okay. So Hidden Valley, she might be something to work with here. I think, yeah, I think I can work with her. Now, let's look at her stats in more detail. Um, horse potential. So, I'm just looking at some of these right now. Constitution. To take more racing. So, this Constitution bar, that's almost all the way over to the right as far as green is concerned. The higher this bar, the higher the potential for the horse to take more racing. That, to me, would tell me that the horse has pretty good conditioning and should be able to race for a while. But the rest of these stats are not great. Deterioration potential, it's pretty high. I, I would assume that this red bar is higher. That means as the horse starts to decline, its performance is going to suffer, you know, heavier and heavier. Um, but it is what it is. So let's actually get some, let's see. Actually, all these horses, their fitness is kind of, nobody's fitness is terrible at the moment. Uh... Now, as far as training is concerned, we have an unread message. I'll check this out. Secretary. Legendary Horse Secretary ends the game, enters the game as a two-year-old trained by E. Evans. I'm not even going to think about getting that horse because we're not even in a position to do so. It would be cool to get Secretary, but, I mean, I, I w will not do that until I feel like I am pretty well-versed in this game. So here we look at the uh, training settings here. This says gallop trial settings, and the distance for the training session will be five furlongs. On the turf, and the going will be good. So, there's three different types of trainings. You can do lot one, lot two, and lot three. Lot one training means your horse will do heavy work with gallops. 
Lot two training means your horse will do a slow and steady exercise, cantering. And then lot three means just a gentle exercise, walking. So lot one is the most intense, and then obviously lot, lot three is the least intense. So many training potential here. Jumping, I don't care about. Agility is poor. Starting is average. Horse lad feedback. This horse is a little short of work. Okay. So what exactly do they want me to do? do that doesn't really tell me where i should be focusing my training because right now the horse is training on lot two hmm. a little short of work um so let's look at this red equals not ready amber okay it says red is not ready and then amber just has no meaning and then green equals ready so none of these horses are actually ready to run so we do need to get them into condition okay um take part in today's trial so this horse is a lead horse how many horses can I actually train together i wouldn't mind training them all together just to kind of see what happens now i would how do you i would like to view these horses without actually clicking on the horse data now is the form yeah the form takes me to this screen like I said, the navigation is still a tad bit weird as far as setting all this up. Like, I would just like to view the horses here at the bottom, but it's hard to do so. I'm not sure what I click on. Like, if I do this, it's just going to take me right to the horse's page. It's not what I want. And I guess, okay, the last horse you click on just pops up here. I thought you could just kind of select. That's a little bit weird, but that's fine. Okay. So, let's look at music magic. Um, the lad says, this horse requires more work. Okay. Fair enough. And let's look at Spanish Acclaim. What do they say about you? I hate that I have to click on this to go back. Is there seriously no other way to like get it so I can read this at the bottom? That's really inconvenient. You have to do that every single time. This horse has become jaded and unfit and should not be raced. Jaded and unfit. Okay, we got quite a bit of work to do. Weight is 906. All right. Um, I think Hidden Valley is probably in the best shape. I'm going to set this horse as the lead horse for the training session okay oh i think okay so i think in order to get your horse to pop up here at the bottom to see all the extra training details you have to click on whether or not you want your horse to take part in today's training and then whether or not you want the horse to be a lead horse i only have three oh the four-year-old filly the four-year-old gray filly here hidden valley i'll have her take lead in training and then spanish acclaim you need some work um you will take part in today's trial and music magic actually yeah let's have all of them take place and we're going to watch them train now let's see what this says click to change intensity blue equals light amber equals mid and red equals heavy i think spanish acclaim needs some heavy training because they said that horse was not looking good for racing or does this horse need to actually relax let me see spanish acclaim um so how do i okay so clicking this goes to the different okay Figuring everything out. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oh, you click on the icons. There we go. You see, it's so much in this game. You literally have to click on everything and actually read it. It's not like a game where you can kind of just figure stuff out or it already tells you on screen. I have no idea what this icon would meant, but I figured, okay, maybe that means... Stop. I get it. Secretariat's in the game. My goodness, delete. Like, ah. I probably just had to delete that email anyways, but still, like, go away. Anywho's, um, so yeah, we will do all of that. Now, Spanish Acclaim, I wonder, hmm, I'll have this horse train lightly. I don't know if I should, the fitness level is almost up to the top. It's not like it's too bad, honestly. So I don't want to train this horse too hard yet. I, I want to see how he feels. And then when we look at Music Magic, now this horse needs a little bit more fitness, and we'll do red for that. And then when we look at Hidden Valley, Hidden Valley is almost there too. So it's just a little bit short of work, so... Yeah, we'll do, we'll keep him at a mid-distance emphasis, so these icons are really, really tiny, and you guys probably won't be able to see them, but when I click on these white icons where the mouse figure um, is pointing right now, uh, it goes from left to right as far as speed, you know, mid, whatever the heck that means, and stamina. So right now, I think it's on mid. If I click it now, that means the horse is going to work on stamina. If I click it again, that means the horse is going to work on speed. It's a downhill, like, graph slope, essentially. The higher the graph is to the left, that means we're working on speed. We're back to mid, and then, of course, if it's this way, that means the horse is going to work on stamina. Think about doing incline work or running up a hill. It's basically what that translates to. So, um, some, who has terrible stamina? One of these horses have really bad stamina. 
Um, now that I'm actually taking my time to really understand this, I already feel myself enjoying this game way more than I ever did when I've played it previously. It helps that I'm trying to keep the pressure off of myself as well, and I'm just gonna, you know, just try to take my time. So, yeah, music, magic, you definitely need stamina work. Um, Spanish Acclaim, you also need stamina. I'm, I'm kind of going to put everybody to stamina. Like, their speed isn't terrible. And again, I'm a big advocate of stamina in horse racing games. I hate having a horse with so much speed and then the stamina does, you know, it, it becomes a crutch. Or it becomes just a liability. I love fast horses, believe me. You guys know I do. But without the stamina, it's really a headache to deal with. And then Hidden Valley actually needs some speed. We're going to have you do some speed work. All right. And then um, we can improve a horse's agility, braking, and jumping. Um, and this will actually replace the normal settings. I don't want to do that. So I'll leave all this default. Hidden Valley will serve as the lead horse. And I'm ready to go. Let's go ahead and watch these horses on track. So we have two bays and a gray. All right. Let's go ahead and watch them. Yeah. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode today. Again, it's going to be a very long one, at least over an hour and a half for sure. But I'll be recording it at parts because I actually have to go here in reality soon. But whenever I come back, whether it's later today or tomorrow, I'll just continue recording. So there are our horses. As you can see, the two bays. We have a colt, a filly, and then we have the other filly, which is the gray. Now, she's supposed to be leading, and she's not. I told her to lead. She's not. Don't know what's going on. So who is leading? So Music Magic is leading. Um, and I think this is the horse I wanted to work the hardest. So I guess that would make sense. Spanish Acclaim, I have on light work, and Hidden Valley is on medium, so a little bit confusing. Not going to lie. Set the preference for Hidden Valley to be the leading horse, and Hidden Valley is way back there. Way back there. But right now, Music Magic, looking pretty good, running th 36 miles per hour. Uh, whatever the conversion is in kilometers, I have no idea. I need to become better at uh, understanding that, especially with just us all being from different parts of the world. Take some time. So, less than a furlong left to go. Music Magic dropping in stamina. Or dropping in, um... Well, actually, it looked like it was dropping in speed. I actually picked it back up. And uh, Spanish Acclaim was really trying to fight, but that was a pretty easy ride there from Music Magic. Pretty good training session. Again, don't know why Hidden Valley wasn't leading. So confused. Select this horse as lead gallop horse. The L is selected. I mean, why... What does that mean? Am I, am I supposed to select something else? Um, how does that work? Huh. That's really weird. Yeah, the L is supposed to mean... Okay, so Hidden Valley's ready to roll. And as you can see, the green indicator is here now. That means the horse is ready to race. The fitness level is almost all the way up. Let's check everybody else out. Uh, wow, Spanish Acclaim. Fitness went up pretty well. That's good. And then... Music Magic, that fitness level, I should say, um, has increased a little bit. Stamina dropped a lot. This horse has become jaded and unfit to race. So this is going to be quite interesting to navigate, I, I admit. Um, let me look at... Stamina dropped a lot as well. Why is that? Stamina dropped for both Music Magic and Spanish Acclaim. Both of the bays, their stamina dropped tremendously. Now, that's something I'm going to have to figure out, because I really don't know what why that happened. Okay, so here's a breakdown. Uh, finishing time. Spanish Acclaim really needs a longer gap than this. Okay, so Spanish Acclaim can go a little bit longer in distance. That's cool. All right. So that's interesting, because you look at if we look at the training right now for Music Magic, our two-year-old filly, um, I have her on lot one, which means she's doing heavy work. I wonder if stamina also reflects, like, the horse being tired because we just did a heavy training session. I didn't think about that. I guess I was just viewing this as just, like, the horse's permanent stamina rating. But if stamina actually responds to training, that's very realistic and that's a great thing, obviously. That would make sense. It's just I'm used to playing games where, like, you train your horses and, like, their stamina, their stamina rating isn't affected by training. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't really happen. It doesn't happen in Gallup Racer. Um, until the horse generally just starts to decline and uh, lose its performance. But if you do training sessions with horses and Gallup Racer, their stamina doesn't drop tremendously. In this game, I guess it does. It's very interesting. Huh. 
So training is going to be a little bit tricky to navigate where to how to keep the stamina pretty high. And that's why it says the horses become jaded and unfit, because obviously there's no stamina. Okay, I'm figuring that out. All right, fair enough. This is what I mean. I'm, this is just the training aspect of this game, people. Like, I'm just strictly doing this, and there's so much to it. But I got to admit, I'm actually enjoying it, now that I'm understanding this a lot more. Okay, so Hidden Valley is doing speed training. And as you can see, his, his, or her, excuse me, her stamina didn't drop because we didn't have her do stamina training. So stamina training in this game does actually drop the horse's stamina temporarily. All right, that's good to know. That's really, really good to know. That get, that puts a lot of a lot of things into perspective. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, since stamina has dropped tremendously for the you know uh, music magic, we want to get that back up. Uh, this horse was on stamina emphasis. I'm going to change that to. Let's focus on mid and let's have you do a much lighter workout next time. Uh, Spanish Acclaim, the three-year-old Colt. I'll pretty much have you on the same regiment. We're going to drop you back to just a mid-pace um, intensity. And I'll keep yours on blue as well. Because it was on stamina previously. So I've taken them off of their stamina training. And uh, maybe I should, I wonder if I should do speed. Actually, you know what? Just to see what happens, I'm going to keep our first horse, Music Magic, the two-year-old filly. I'll keep her on doing just a mid-pace training session, or actually light intensity. I'll have her do light intensity, no emphasis on speed or stamina. And then our three-year-old Colt, as you can see right here, Spanish Acclaim. I'll have this horse also put no emphasis on speed or stamina, just kind of you know run at a middle, at a, at a mid-pace, a, a good kind of breezing, you know, uh setting there but i'll have spanish actually ignore everything i just said the first horse we're going to keep that where it is light work no speed or stamina focus the second horse our three-year-old coat our only coat spanish acclaim i'll have him still do light intensity because his fitness level is almost all the way up but i'll actually have him focus on speed training and then again hidden valley is actually ready to roll and because of that i don't want that horse to tire itself out fitness level is almost all the way up have you do light work and probably just focus on mid training as well. We're going to watch one more training session, then I'll have to go. And I'm actually going to have Spanish Acclaim be the leading horse. So I'll see how the Colt handles this. So we have speed training for him. We have a gentle exercise training, very light training for Music Magic to try to get her stamina back up. A Hidden Valley, again, very, very light work. Horse is pretty much ready to run. And we'll see how this goes and again spanish acclaim our only cult he'll take the lead and they're running five furlongs mm, i'll keep it at five furlongs i don't really want to push the distance let's see how this goes only one okay only one gallop per day that's actually fine well i suppose when we come back we'll fast forward a day but there's still a lot more stuff i need to go i probably should get hidden value in a race actually since he's looking pretty good okay that makes sense only one training session per day Okay. Well, guys, uh, I will be taking a short break again. I will be back. So this is a long episode. I'll be probably recording this in parts, but it'll all be one video. So you guys will just have smooth, seamless transitions and we'll get back into this game. Hopefully you're enjoying it. I feel like I am enjoying it so much more than I'm actually taking my time to read everything. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying that. So uh, I will be back. Well, um, something really frustrating just happened. Uh, I, I lost an hour's worth of footage. Um, the capture software just stopped responding. Uh, it's never done that before. I've recorded long videos. It was about an, uh, an hour's worth of footage, uh, and it just it just stopped responding. Uh, literally just stopped responding. I've never had that happen. So extremely frustrating. I, I waited quite a while to see if the program would come back, and it just didn't. Uh, you guys missed our first race, our first race win. It. It's really frustrating. I'm trying to move past it. Um, I just hate when that type of stuff happens and there's no ex and there's just no explanation. Hidden Valley, this horse, well, not this one, sorry, but ay ay ay. Hidden Valley, this gray, she won her first race. As you can see right here, finish one out of six. It was a uh, a selling race, one mile for Phillies, uh, stallions, and mares. She sat at the back pretty much. She ran as a closer, and within the last furlong, she had an absolute burst of speed, and basically she went from fifth to first. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Our other horse, 
uh, Music Magic. Uh, her first debut race was not good. As you can see, she finished seventh out of ninth, but in her second race, she actually got on the podium and finished second. She ran a little bit of a shorter distance. So essentially, everything I did in that hour's worth of footage that I lost, and I'm really still trying to calm myself from that, I, I really experimented with a lot of training. That's honestly all I did. Uh, what I've noticed is that this game doesn't really make sense with some of the things it says. Um, the trainers, the lads would tell me one thing and then the performance would reflect something else. It, it's very contradictory at times. So I'm still experimenting with training, but yeah, things don't really make sense like they're supposed to for certain features. So like most games where most horse racing games, that kind of seems to be the generalized idea where not everything makes sense the game will have something written in its language and code and then what actually happens in the game for us as the players is not reflective of that so that's essentially all i realized during the training that's really all you guys missed i'm just upset that you guys missed a great win for hidden valley but she'll be up again in four days um again i don't know what happened to my recording i, I just like i've recorded two hour long uh, videos before this was only 60 minutes and it just stopped responding I'm literally running nothing else on my computer uh, right now as well so like I said really 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 frustrating um, but there's nothing I can do I just have to move on from it uh, I'm just gonna close that because I don't need it open so I'm just gonna try to be more mindful of maybe trying to end my clips every 20 to 30 minutes just for now um, the bad thing about this program is it doesn't automatically save your videos if like it crashes like some other programs do. Um, so that that's, like I said, very, very frustrating, but I'm just going to have to move on. So Music Magic, she's not uh, in good racing shape now. So we're going to have to do some more work with her. Stamina still sucks. She's rated 73. She didn't have a rating before because she was a two-year-old that hadn't raced. Now that she's raced twice, 73, much better than I thought. Spanish Acclaim, he's rated 70. We actually haven't raced with him yet because I keep trying to get him into racing shape and he's just not ready to go. And I just don't understand what else I need to do with him. So his stamina dropped because I've been running him pretty heavy. I'm going to have him do light training and we'll have him train with... Actually, we'll have them all train because none of their fitness is maxed out. Uh, we'll have Spanish Acclaim be the leading horse. They're all going to do very light training. And we'll run them at six furlongs. Let's see how this does. And let's go. But yeah, it's just uh, it's such a bummer. I mean, really, it was a great race for Hidden Valley to get her first win with us. Um, yeah, I just would have liked for you guys to have seen that. But technology, when it doesn't work, it, it really is painful to deal with. So... Anyway, six furlongs. Uh, Spanish Acclaim is out in front. Music Magic look like she's going to try to challenge him for the lead. And she does. So Music Magic, she challenges Spanish Acclaim. She takes the lead. Spanish Acclaim now dropping to second. And uh, that was a little bit weird. I don't know what happened there. Hidden Valley, as always, she's at the back. She's a closer, which is what I definitely realized um, in her win that, again, wasn't saved in the footage. She definitely runs as a closer. Like I said, she sat maybe six lengths off the lead and then she had a really strong burst within the last furlong and a half so she's definitely a closer the notes have pretty much confirmed it as well so you won't really see her in shot for the most of these training sessions she's just going to be way 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 at the back um so music magic she is going strong spanish acclaim he is tapering off quite a bit um yeah i don't know what's going on with him he, he was looking really good in training again you guys really haven't seen it but he was looking really good in his training sessions, and then he's still not race ready. Like The gals have been ready, but he's not, so I'm not sure exactly what type of shape he needs to be in. Now, there's the closing speed of Hidden Valley. That's usually what will happen with her. She'll sit off, she'll sit off, and then she'll just kind of explode out of nowhere and um, you know, close down. So let's look at these notes that are going to be contradictory. For Music Magic, it says uh, she's lacking a little fitness. Spanish Acclaim lacking a little fitness. So maybe six furlongs actually seems to be a good ideal training distance for them. I don't know. Let's skip a day. And they're still not ready to run. Okay, music. Uh, Magic, let's take a look at her. Her fitness is maxed out. And same thing with Spanish Acclaim, but their conditioning isn't... Well, 
Philly Music by Jake. She her her conditioning is a little bit better. You see the red and the green bar right here. It's almost to the top. Spanish Acclaim, his not really. I wonder if I have to work him a little bit harder. And then Hidden Valley, she's already in a race, but we're gonna have to wait a couple of days. So Yeah. This horse is fit and ready to race, I know. We'll have her continue to do just very, very light training. Actually, we'll have her skip out today. We're gonna do these two again. I'll set Spanish Acclaim as the lead horse. Or actually, let me do Music Magic. I think she is a leading horse. And the race, again, that wasn't recorded in the footage. When she finished second, uh, she did go to the front, and she stayed up there. She was leading. And what I had the jockey do, I had the jockey wait to get her spurt going. In her first race, I didn't do that. I just let the, I just let the jockey do his thing. He went too early, and she ended up finishing in seventh place. The second race that we did, I told the jockey to be more patient, to wait with her, and then she finished in second place right behind the leader. She only lost maybe by about a length. So I think that's what works best for her. We'll do six furlongs again. We're only going to train uh, Music Magic and Spanish Acclaim. And um, again, like, uh, I'm going to try stamina training with her, even though I don't think it really worked the first time I did it, but what what the heck. And Spanish Acclaim, just keep him where he's at. Yeah, his conditioning continues to drop. Don't really know what else I'm supposed to do with him. Like, I really want to, like I said, take this game pretty far, further than I ever have before, but it's a little frustrating when certain things don't really make sense like they're supposed to, and they're very contradictory. It's always going to be a little bit of a frustrating thing to deal with. So here we go. Only six furlongs. And Music Magic, I did tell her to take the lead, and she is out in front. Okay, Spanish Acclaim, what happened there? Interesting. So, uh, yeah, it's always frustrating when you lose an hour's when you lose any footage, but especially an hour's worth of footage and some good stuff happens. That, that's always frustrating, no matter what, to just lose out on and you just can't retrieve it, you can't save it. You know, I feel like every program should have an auto save function built into it. That way, if it potentially crashes, it can at least save everything up to the point before it crashed. You know, to some extent, or at least have an auto save function where it does save copies every. X amount of minutes. I know there are programs like that, but I feel like not enough. But it's in the past. I can't do anything. We're playing again. We're recording now. Just got to roll on. For a long left to go on this training session, Spanish Claim. He's still a couple lengths off the pace. Music Magic, she's still in front. Spanish is going to try to close the gap with half a furlong left to go. Yeah, pretty easy ride there. Wasn't going to have uh, the Philly go too hard. Uh, she's going to push a little bit. Let's see what the notes say. And the note says, for the female, the filly, the galley, lacking fitness. So it's probably just going to say that for both of them. Spanish acclaim really needs a longer gallop. This game just can't make up its mind. One minute it's this, and it's that, then it's this, and it's that, then it's this, and it's that. But again, he's still not ready to run. I've been training him for a while. I, I don't know what his deal is. Um... His conditioning continues to drop, but his fitness is high. Yeah, it's, it's so, so unbelievably strange. Uh, maybe I'll have them do a little bit higher intensity. I'm going to have them both go pretty hard. And I'm going to have them do speed training here. One more session, because Hidden Valley, she's still not racing again for another day. So I'll keep her where she's at. She's ready to go. Like I, the thing is, with her training, she's she's ready to go with fitness. It's all the way up, and she's ready to go with conditioning. I'm I've been doing the same thing with the other two, but like they're just not getting there like she is. So I, I don't really understand what that's about. Um. Yeah, I, I genuinely have like no clues. So we're gonna watch another training session because I would like to see Spanish Acclaim race. Like he just he hasn't been ready. He hasn't been ready, and I've tried quite a bit at this point. This is probably my seventh or eighth training session. I did maybe three or four in the video that wasn't saved, and then this is our third time watching right now. So, yeah, it's been quite a bit. I've changed settings around, and he's still not ready to go. I have no idea what he needs. Now, the game says he needs a longer distance. Okay. I can try that next time around, but 
The thing is, if I do longer distance for him, it's going to hurt Music Magic. She can't run a longer distance, even though her indicator says she can, but her stamina is not there for it. And I've watched her do a training session at a longer distance, and she completely gassed out with like almost two furlongs left to go. She was done early on, which is quite unfortunate. So I wonder if Spanish should claim, I wonder if he's a closer. Because he's sitting off the pace. He's still sitting off. He's not really closing any gap now. Let's see if he has a last surge. No, he's just going to fall off. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. He looked really strong in my first couple of sessions of training. And then ever since, he's just kind of just been a non-factor. All right, let's see. Now he's in the red. Music Magic, lacking fitness. Spanish Acclaim. I expect that in time, Spanish Acclaim will be over, will be, wait, will be better over fences. So he's a jumping horse. I, I don't want a jumping horse. No offense. That's just, that's not my thing. Uh, that's not what I want. So what am I supposed to do with him? Like, <laughs> so red is not ready. Amber doesn't really say anything. Like you can run a horse at Amber and then green is supposed to be ready. Spanish Acclaim. Yeah, his conditioning continues and continues and continues to drop. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with this guy, man. I mean, do I need to... Does he need to have a layoff? Like, I just... I don't understand. There's, They're not really giving me anything conclusive that can help me determine what needs to happen with him. Now, Music Magic. Uh... Don't really know with her either. Guess I'll stick to slow, steady exercise. Maybe in the orange. Um, I'm having to do one more training session to see what happens. Just keep it on mid, and if nothing happens, I'm actually gonna run them a mile now. And then Hidden Valley, she'll be up. Well, actually, I think I have to skip. All right. He was in the red. Now he's not. Maybe I have to let him rest. Like, I have been training him quite hard, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should let him rest for a bit of time. Get his stamina back up. That would make sense. So I'm going to actually let both of them rest. How about that? And they're still not ready to go even with some more rest. Let's see. Okay, stamina does go back up. All right, so resting for sure does affect the stamina. Her stamina is still bad regardless. It just It's like it doesn't improve. His stamina has finally gotten shot and back up. So let me write that down. Um, resting horses. All right. Now, I'm curious why his stamina went up and hers hasn't at all. Like, nothing I've done for the Philly Music Magic has increased her stamina. It's just stayed at... Well, I'll show you guys. Her stamina has just stayed at this very low bar for, like, the longest... Anyways, Hidden Valley, she's up. You guys will finally get a chance to watch her run now. So let's see how she does, eh? Now, there is a sales event. I'm waiting until January 22nd because the sales event, I think, for the 22nd is going to be a two-year-old sale. Um, this is an auction today. Uh, and the people in these auctions, of course, they're bidding like 100000 I only have 174000 which means, yeah, we're not doing any of that. Uh, yeah, so let's go to the race. Let's see how Hidden Valley does today. Hopefully she can get another win. I think we're racing her in a group, uh, a grade two. First time I'm doing that with her, so she'll be tested. And, uh, yeah. So there she is. She is in the grade two El Encino Stakes, and she is a long shot, as I figured. You see, this is the thing about this game. Uh, the, the jockey that won a race on her in the footage that wasn't uh, saved he he basically had this comment like, oh, I mean, don't you think you should be racing her in a higher grade, question mark? I'm thinking to myself, like, no, she's not capable really of running against those better, those better horses. I don't think so. Maybe she can. Maybe she'll, she'll, you know, defy the odds. But as you can see, she's a long shot here today, going off of 50 to 1 in this grade 2. Now, her rating is not terrible compared to these other horses. She is amongst the lower end, but, you know, she can still fit in with the other bottom tiered horses. But still, she's the long shot. So yeah, I don't think she's a grade two horse. She's certainly not a grade one horse. I don't even know if she's a grade three horse. So that's why I haven't I wasn't gonna put her in any graded races. Um 
And as far as jockey orders, I'm going to tell the jockey to challenge later for sure, because that's what helped her get her first win. Um, yeah, so we'll do that, and let's see how this race pans out. And I have to keep in mind, in the one race with Music Magic, our two-year-old uh, two filly, she was expected to finish last, and she actually finished second. And I wasn't expecting it. So the same thing could happen here um with hidden valley but a top three result would be fantastic her finishing in the money would be pretty nice as well but i mean a top three and a grade two for her i think that'd really be good so i'm hoping she doesn't fall too far off yeah we'll see so what is her number um, she is number 11, but she had post position number four. Okay. So we're off. Oh, no, not the camera angle I wanted. Oh, okay. That's fine. So let's see how she does. She is in last place right now. Uh, I'm just going to stick on the leaders right now. Can I even go back to her? Okay, I can. So we can do this. All right. So obviously here we are. She is the gray, um, behind the other gray, essentially. So I'm going to tell the jockey to obviously go later when that time arises. Maybe, actually. I'll wait. The one race I did tell him to go at the right time and it actually worked. But she's quite a ways off. I'm not sure. I mean, these are... Some of these horses might be group one horses anyways. Grade one horses. So I don't necessarily know when's the best time to push. But I feel like she's really struggling right now. I hope she'll maybe have some energy at the end. But she's quite a way off. Still going to be patient. Still going to be patient. Okay, we're gonna have to go now because we're way off the way off the pace. Well, let's see if she can make any progress, but she is in last place, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, two furlongs left to go. Getting to the front would be an absolute miracle. She's what twelve lengths off the pace right now. She's got the inside rail. She might be moving to the outside. Furlong and a half left to go. I just want to see some fight. If she can pass some of these horses, that that, that won't be bad. Furlong left to go. Yeah, she she's quite a ways off. She's showing some fight, though. She's not going to finish in last. She's actually going to pass three horses. Okay. Yeah, so she... I wonder if we would have gotten her going sooner because she would have had a better chance. I didn't expect her to be that far off the pace. Otherwise, I would have set her up to the front. And she actually ended up... Wow. Interesting. Okay. So, let's see what the notes are. Eventually, when we get a chance. Ridden as a closer, which appeared to suit well, we can never get competitive. All right, well, that's about the most realistic It's the notes have been. She's still ready to go in another race? Okay, so she's still she's still in good shape, which I, which is good. I like that she's still able to continually compete. Um, so I'll try to get her in another race, because I don't know what's going on with the other two. Spanish Acclaim, his stamina is finally getting back up there, and the other filly, she's just non-existent, like... So skip, not nice stamina, pretty much the same. <sighs> yeah, training is difficult, man. They definitely lose stamina. It's kind of hard to know exactly what to do. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to train Hidden Valley and Music Magic. I'm going to train these two. I'll have set the two-year-old filly, the bay as the uh, leader. And as far as her intensity... <laughs> I don't know if I should do gallops. I'll try her at a heavy, heavier uh, focus. And um, we'll have them do... Just have them do six furlongs. That shouldn't be too hard. See how that goes. Uh, but yeah, very, very... Very interesting, the training in this game. I really want to get to a point where I feel like I have a clear picture of how it works, but it's a, it's a little bit janky. Um, it's not as straightforward as it may seem, I think. And I always worry about that with like PC horse racing games just because they're programmed in such unique ways. I just wonder if like this is one of those training... Uh, programs in a game where it's not coded 
to the best of its ability and therefore things that you think would make sense don't really make sense you know what I mean that would be a little bit of a nuisance to have to kind of navigate I think gallop racer training is pretty straightforward once you get used to it you know what I mean a horse racing manager as well uh, that's pretty straightforward what you focus on usually improves for your horse in this game it, it there's no real indicator <laughs> at the end of the day I'm using magic she's clear out in front by a furlong I have no idea where Hidden Valley is I'm not even gonna look to see if she ends up coming through at the end she can but I always have Hidden Valley running light I haven't had her do any heavy training sessions because I don't want her to gas herself out now she shows up all right, so let, let, let's see what the notes say. So for Music Magic, it just keeps saying she's lacking fitness and the Hidden Valley needs a longer gallop. I mean, blah, 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 whatever. Who cares? All right, let's 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 put Hidden Valley in a race. And she's, let's skip and then put her in a race. It's, Spanish Acclaim is still not ready to go. I do not understand what this dude. Maybe I just need to put him in a race. I'm waiting for him to get in the green, but he's just not there. I'm probably just going to put him in a race anyways. It's like, what's the point in waiting around? And if he's just not going to be there, then whatever. All right, we're going to get, well, yeah, we'll get him in a race. Because Hidden Valley, she's still, uh, she still requires a little bit more time. The Spanish Acclaim, I'm not really sure what's even going to work for him, to be honest. But let's see what his previous form shows. He finished third, going six furlongs, second going seven, yeah. His breeding indicator says a mile, but clearly he finished 11th out of 12th. and It was a grade three, so a little bit up in class, but he finished second in a handicap at seven furlongs. Yeah, I need to pay attention to the track services, too. I keep forgetting to do that. So, does he like dirt? He kind of does, and then he kind of doesn't. I think, hmm, it's hard to know exactly what works for him because he's finished third on the dirt before, then he finished eighth on the turf, and then he finished second on the turf. The only thing I would assume is maybe he's a little bit more comfortable with turf than dirt. A good track, like, okay. So, oh, let's give it a shot, shall we? Let's go to enter race. In fact, I'm going to make sure I uh, pause this recording, and I'll be right back. All right, that session actually saved. Shouldn't even have to be so conscious of that to the point where it disrupts the recording flow, but I guess I have to do what I have to do. So anyways, he's a three-year-old cult. Let's just look for three-year-olds three and up type of races. Um, and like I said, six furlongs seems to work. I don't know what, is this turf or dirt? This is dirt. I'll try them out. Phillies and mares. He's not even eligible for that race. All right, let's go down here and open. This should be much better. Dirt and Phoenix, okay. We'll have Castelli Castelliano ride. This will be for Spanish Acclaim. Got to get him into a race. Late declaration penalty, 1,700. Is that race today? No, that race is in two days. All right, you know what, whatever. We'll just go ahead and do that. That's fine. Um. All right, so we got him entered into a race. I'm still waiting till January 22nd up here on this calendar to go to the two-year-old sale, see if we can maybe get any decent uh, two-year-olds. Musa Magique, she might be okay. I'm not sure. She's a dirt horse, clearly. Um, I think the blinkers also help. Her first race, she just was running with a nose band. She finished seventh out of ninth. I changed her to the blinker. She finishes second, so that might actually be a good change for her. Um, so let's go back to what I want to look at. Um, mm -hmm. it's really nothing to upgrade with our stable. I mean, it all costs way too much money anyway. So we have to wait till we start winning some big races. Uh, are we going to do training here today? Is anybody? Not really. I'm just going to skip. Um, why am I here? How did I get here? Uh, so yeah, Hidden Valley, she will be ready to run here pretty soon, giving her some time off. And uh, Music Magic, same thing. All right, so Fitness is there, Spanish Acclaim. Gotta get him out onto the track just to see how he looks. 
Hen Valley, she still she'll pretty much be ready to go after this race. So I'll get her back in another one. Spanish Acclaim. Finally get to see him race for the first time. Let's see how he does. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip. We're gonna skip. And here he is. Field of 14. Huge field. And we are expected to finish near the bottom. We're going off at 50 to 1. Long shot odds. So we are number nine. I think we get draw ten. Uh, outside draw six furlongs. Uh, jockey orders. I haven't seen him race. We've only seen him train, but uh, that I don't know if that's completely an indicator of what to do. I'm just gonna watch him race and see what the jockey does. If he's too far off the pace, I don't think he's a. I don't know if he's a closer. I have no idea if he's a closer, so I'm a little bit hesitant to have him race like that. But we'll see. Nonetheless, I'm still enjoying this game. Uh, I'm enjoying it now that I'm really trying to actually understand it. Um, and like I said, I'm just taking the pressure off of myself. And again, any you know, just taking things a day at a time. And uh, that's really all I can do. So yeah, 50 to 1 odds. Let's see what happens here. Feel the 14. And we're off. So Spanish Acclaim. He is right there. No idea what the jockey is doing. Okay. So we're sitting right there in the middle. I think that's a good good place to be. I, I was hoping we weren't really off the pace. Is the jockey whipping? It looked like he was. Um, Why are you falling so far behind? I'm going to say go early. Because last time we were too far off the pace. We ended up getting smoked. I know he's not even race ready. I got to see what he's capable of. And man, he is way off the pace. He's just dropping and dropping. He's done, isn't he? Wow, he's completely done. That's disappointing. I don't know what his deal is. He's like the only horse out of the three that just like is not race ready no matter what I do for him. Like he just, <laughs> it's so strange. It really is. He's just sitting back here, just nothing. Now this is a shorter distance. I might try running him at a mile. I don't know if he'll like the turf better. Maybe I'll try turf with him if I can. But I mean, he look how far he finishes off the pace. I know he's not race ready, but that that's bad. That's really bad. Yeah. So I have no idea what's going on with him. Let's see. Ridden as a front runner, the horse could have settled better. The horse would be suited by further. Yeah, I figured, but still a bad result regardless master darcy bid now let me show you just how this auction works you'll see the price would just jump up oh is nobody bidding any higher okay oh 21k uh fine whatever well, actually, that 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 actually worked. You see, usually when I go to auctions, they bid up to like a hundred thousand. That was the first time they actually didn't bid that hard, that high. Excuse me. Spanish claim. As you can see, he's again not ready. He's been not ready. I don't know what else I need to do with him. I've tried virtually every type of training indicator. I mean, do I just need to use him as like a stud? I, I don't understand. <laughs> can I do that? Let's go to breeding. Or is this just showing? What does this actually show you? Breeding mares, stud farms, top those top current sires, breeding mares. So I can breed him with one of these horses, one of these mares. Breeding status. So green equals good. Let's see who's actually ready, and let's look at these ratings as well. And I wonder how much it'll cost. Bob Baffert, and his name is not Baffert; it's L. Baffert, whoever that you know. That's supposed to be Bob, but it's an L. Bright Moles. This is a five-year-old mare who has won over a million dollars. I wonder how much that would cost. Cause like, can I do this? Oh no, she's not even ready. Wait, 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 wait. Where'd I go? I just, I just saw her. Let's go back to rating. Okay. Click to select this horse. So can I even breed with her? Are these just horses that are just here for breeding? I wonder. Um. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, I thought I could actually breed. I thought I, I well, I thought I could select her for breeding. Apparently, I can't. You just select these horses, and then you just look at their stats. But like, there's nothing to actually select them for breeding. So, what is the point in this? Just showing you horses that are available. Um. I mean, like that, that's all fine and dandy to look at, but if I can't actually use it, what's the point? You know. Oh, da, 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 my breeding. You must purchase a breeding barn in order to retire your horse for breeding. Your horse is for breeding. So I wonder if it's here. That horse, that filly I was looking at, I'm trying to see if she's even here. Look at these breeding fees. Now, I would totally do it with one of these horses, for sure. If uh, I could, but we need the breeding barn. And how much does that cost? Where's the breeding barn? 340000 yeah, we can't even, we're not even in a position to do that. We're going to need a big win, or I can take out a loan. I'm considering doing that, because I would like to see how breeding works in this game. So let me go to my finances and see if I can take, I mean, what's the highest loan I could even take out? That's what I'm wondering. I'm going to be crazy and say 500000 Maximum is 60000 Oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, that wouldn't, I mean, that still wouldn't even allow me to buy the barn, so why would I do that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, Spanish Acclaim, I don't know what's going on with you, bro. I really don't. I'm going to, like, put, I don't want to give up on him because I still feel like he could be a good horse, but I just don't understand. <sighs> Training is just not working for him. Like, nothing I do is getting him into race shape, and I've tried virtually everything, so it's extremely confusing. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... Hmm. Okay, let, let me look at his information a little bit more. So, Spanish Acclaim. His fitness is out. His, that's the thing. His fitness has always been close to the top, but he's just not race ready. His conditioning is awful. His stamina finally went back up once I rested him. Now, I can retire him to Breeding Barn now, but there's no... It says it's not even possible for him, so I guess he just can't even go there yet. Out to the grass for the rest of the season. Geld Horse... Okay, I gelded him. I, I I don't know if that'll do anything or not, but I, I'm trying it out. Three-year-old gelding. I, I just, I want to experiment with it. I'm experimenting with a lot of stuff. So let's fast forward a week. He's still not ready to go. We're going to try training here again today. I'm going to have him do heavy training. I'm going to have him just stick to the regular things that we've been doing. And I wonder if everybody else should join in. I'm going to have everybody else join in as well. Why not? We'll have all three of them run. Music Magic, she'll set the pace. Let's run them at a mile. See how that does. <clears throat> it's like I need to like put every sort of training combination I can do into a note or a spreadsheet and then try all of it out just to see what actually may help get him into race shape. Like I said, I've tried a lot of things, but have I been writing them down? No. So, I don't really know what's going to work. But yeah, it would just be nice just to get him into actual race-ready shape to see what he's capable of. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what is keeping him from there. Like I said, I've tried a lot, and that, and that hour-long footage that wasn't saved, I tried a lot of different training methods with him and nothing got him into race shape so i'm not really understanding what is uh kind of hindering him from being ready to really race at his full potential i have no idea his fitness is almost at the top but his conditioning has been bad so i wonder if he just needs to do longer does he need to do more stamina related things i'm not sure conditioning means he needs to build up his endurance running maybe longer distances i haven't really run him at a mile too often so maybe he needs to continue running at a mile to get into better shape i don't know so two and a half furlongs left to go he's uh kicking he's in the front right now spanish acclaim now he's driving this is probably the best he's looked ever but like i said he's looked okay in most of his training sessions and then obviously he's still not race ready that's why it's so confusing I'm like, okay, what is your deal, bro? <laughs> like, what is your deal? Where are you lacking? 
That's what I'm trying to figure out. In Hidden Valley, again, her being the closer, she'll get up there at the end. So let's see what the results say. So for Spanish Acclaim, Lacking Fitness, Music Magic, Latin fit, Lacking Fitness, the same deal as always. All right. Um, let's skip, and we're going to go to the two-year-old sales. See, Music Magic, she is constantly ready. His Now his rating dropped to a 65. Like I don't know what's going on with this dude, man. His condition continues and continues and continues to drop. I mean, do I need to send him out to grass for the rest of the season? Because, like, tr not, nothing I do for training is working. Like, clearly it's not. And, like, I've tried everything. You know what I mean? So I, I can't. I'm, I'm just going to send him out because, like, nothing is working. Um, not possibly just purchase the field space. Oh, my goodness. I keep forgetting all this stuff needs to be purchased. Pfft. Like, what do I do with him? I really don't know what to do. Because his conditioning continues to drop. Now, the only other thing I could try with training is to maybe run him lighter and just have him focus on stamina-related training. That's about it. And the lad feedback has been the same with him for, like, months. This horse could do with a few more days before racing. Okay, we've been doing that. Nothing's happened. Let's go to the two-year-old sales. Let's see if anybody is here worth getting. So we have a couple of two-year-olds, um, mostly Colts. Tim Democracy. One in a uh, six for a long selling race a couple weeks ago. All right, so that probably would be a better, let's start the sale now. Um, who else am I gonna be interested in? Uh, let's see. Well, all these other reserve minimums are too high, so I can only bet on democracy. So let's see. 270,000. See, this is what I mean. Like, I can't compete with that. Oh, what a waste of time. I'm out of here. Or skip the current lot. Is there other lots to do? Uh, who are we betting for now? Still democracy? What is happening? Anything? No. Okay. Skip the current lot. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, nothing's happening. Okay. Um. Yeah, acquiring horses in this game. So not easy like it is in others. I, I, I of course know it's probably by design. Oh, Spanish acclaim, bro. You're stressing me out, man. I don't know what to do with you. Music Magic, let's get her back in another race. Her stamina still sucks, but her conditioning is really... That's the thing. Her conditioning is good. Hidden Valley's conditioning is good. We, uh, they've all been training together. It's only Spanish Acclaim that, like, sucks with the training. Like, his conditioning is awful. Awful, awful, awful. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I just have no... Has he already peaked? Maybe he's already peaked, but then shouldn't I be able to retire him by this point? That's what I'm understanding. His confidence is through the roof. Doesn't make sense. This is what I mean by contradictory programming in this game. Half of the stuff is very contradictory of other things. So like I said, I, I just I have no idea with him. I really don't. It just <laughs> Music Magic. Uh what is she like again? So yeah, she likes dirt for sure. Very muddy tracks. And um, I think the short distances are working for her. So I'm not going to put her in anything longer than six furlongs until otherwise noted. So we're looking for two-year-olds only. And let's see. There's a t We might get a penalty for these races, I wonder. No. Okay. So let's look at the rest of the fields. No ratings for those horses. What about this field? Okay, most of them just don't have any ratings, period. Um... Dirt. Let's see, Monticello. View the current. Are these all the races from Monticello? Is that what that's telling me? No, these are different. Okay. Some of this stuff is still confusing. It doesn't really make sense. Oh, forecast range. She does like very muddy. So I should run her in one of these. I keep forgetting to look in these parentheses to see the forecast. Um. Let me see. Higher price would be better. 
Actually, I'll do this. We'll try her out. It says mud. Hold on, sorry. Let me go back. So she likes a muddy track. Hmm. Muddy. I don't. Well, muddy come from just rain or like really heavy showers. It doesn't really specify. You see, the race is here for the 24th. It just says forecast rain. Obviously, on dirt, the track's going to be muddy, but how muddy? And then we have heavy showers. Muddy. Like, what would be better? I, I don't know. I'm just going to run her in this race against Phillies and Mares. Field of seven. Should be pretty ideal, I hope. We'll have uh, Velasquez, if he even wants to ride. Every time I try to get him, he's just like, oh, yeah, I don't want to ride with you anymore. All right, bro. Late de declaration penalty. I mean, that's whatever, bro. We, we have to race. In Hidden Valley, I will wait. Training. Again, like... If I have him do no training for um, Spanish Acclaim, no, he still doesn't get into racing shape. I mean, I'm going to try training with him again one more time. And then after that, if nothing happens, if he's not ready, I'm just going to just stop training with him in general. His fitness is all the way up, but his conditioning sucks. It just, you know, doesn't really make sense. I'll have him train with who needs it more. Probably Hidden Valley. No, I actually, I'll have music. Now, you know what? I'm going to have them all train again. Why not? Because they all still need a little bit more fitness. And I'm going to have them all train very lightly. Um, I'm actually going to have Hidden Valley do a little bit of stamina training this time around. See how that acts for her. Uh, music magic, have her be pace setter as always. I'm going to keep this to... Super Six furlongs. Did I run a mile the last time? I swore I ran a mile the last time out, and it just it didn't do well for him. I, went, I think six is probably the best general area to stay with when it comes to the training. So I'm just going to continue to do that. Especially if I'm racing off, if I'm training all three of them at the same time. That's like the best median, because some of them like to go longer, some of them like to go shorter. So here we are for another training session. Spanish Acclaim stressing me out. I don't know what his problem is. My only solution after this training session is just to rest him essentially indefinitely until he's, until I feel like maybe it's time for him to train again. But uh, I haven't been training him more than the other female, uh, more than other fillies, the gals. That's that's the, that's the weird thing. It, it would be different. I felt if I was training him more than them, but I'm not. In fact, they've actually trained more than him. I've given him more time off. So it doesn't really make sense as to why he's just not in any good shape, no matter what we seem to do. His fitness is high, but his conditioning is abysmal. And again, I've tried doing speed training with him. I've tried stamina training. I've tried light work. I've tried heavy work. I've tried, you know, just cooling. I've tried so many different types of uh, intensity levels for him, different types of training emphasis for him. Nothing is getting him into race readiness. I don't understand. And again, the game is not giving me accurate, reliable tips to figure out, so it's extremely difficult to know what's really going on. You know what I mean? And as always, he looks okay in training sessions, and but he's still not good to race. <sighs> Let's see if, what other sales are coming up. The auctions are just ridiculous. Like, is there any sale I can go to without having to... Beerling... Um... Yeah, the weekly sales, I mean, I just, yeah, I wish there was an easier way to, like, at least have an attempt at acquiring horses. Spanish Acclaim, be better over fences. I mean, but I can't even release him. That's the problem. I can't release him. I guess the only thing I could do is just enter him into auctions or claiming races, and hopefully somebody can take him off our hands. I, I guess that's really the only thing I can do with him. Huh. <sighs> Well, let's see what to do next. Well, we're going to skip a day to the 23rd. Um, and again, he's still not ready to run. And I'm just going to stop training because uh, nothing is working. <laughs> and again, the Phillies, they're doing fine. Their fitness is up. Their conditioning is up. He's doing this. And look, Hidden Valley, she's ready to roll again. It's only Spanish acclaim. It's only this cult. I don't know what his deal is. I've tried everything, and he's just not ready to go no matter what. And I can't do squat with him. Like, 
Can't send them out to the grass because I need something for that. What is a wind operation? Okay. Retire to game pool. Retire from game. Cannot be undone. I low-key want to do that. He's just frustrating at this point. And, like, nothing is working. But I'm, I'm going to race him one more time. Um, I didn't mean to click on retire stud. Um, I'm going to... Enter this horse into the next auction. Yes, okay, let's do that. I, I keep forgetting. Whenever that is. But I, I still would like to try to put him in a race, maybe on turf. I, I doubt it'll do anything, but why not? I know he's not ready to go, but... Like, what would, like, would I even be able to race him in this condition? I wonder. Like, let's look for three-year-olds. Um, and... And there's no, these tracks aren't even turf, are they? Yeah, it's all dirt, so whatever, bro. Let's skip another day. Any turf races today? Or anytime soon, I should say. It's not a whole lot of, t okay, there is some today. Uh, let's do one mile. Oh, he, he can't even run. Oh, is he gone? He might be gone. Oh, I got money. Okay, he did sell. Awesome. Entered him into an auction. Looks like he sold for maybe 40k. I didn't get any notes for it. Um. Yeah, like th nothing. Nothing even told me he sold. Why would a game? Why would this game not include something like that? That's so weird. That's so weird to not include something as important as that. If you put a horse into an auction and it sells, you should know. Only reason I noticed is because now I see that I only have two horses and not three, and that we obviously accumulated some money. Why wouldn't the game tell me that? Uh, so they're saying loan amount sixty thousand, approximate monthly payment thirty eight hundred over eighteen months, interest nineteen percent. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not doing that, bro. I'll do that if we're like broke, broke, but. There's really no point right now. Um, yeah, he was a headache. Clearly, it just wasn't working. That's what I'm going to do for now on. If horses just seem like they can't get in race readiness shape, I'm just going to let them go. There's really no sense in stressing over them, trying to trying to improve them. And just, I mean, what am I gaining from that? So our horse ranking in this game out of 101 other trainers or owners, whomever, we're 90 out of 101. At least we're not in last place. So, Music Magic, the Philly, she's ready to go again. Uh, let's rock and roll with her. And here she is. 72. Um, I think she's, she is the favorite. She is the favorite here. So, I will bet a show bet on her. So, Max Show. 44K? I didn't... I keep forgetting not to do max bets. I keep forgetting not to do that. I'm just betting like the maximum amount. I'm just sending myself through the roof with that. <laughs> oh dear. But I mean, if she shows, yeah, hopefully it'll be a nice payoff. But I just spent all the money essentially we just got from uh, auctioning off the Colt. Now as far as the jockey, I have notes. Go later. Okay, I'm just going to say challenge later. For jockey notes let's go and let's see if she can actually get the win most importantly her stamina still doesn't look great but at least her conditioning and her fitness are top notch so she has a really good chance to hopefully have a good showing here today five furlongs on zedette another maiden race for two-year-olds i think we'll be number eight post position number two and yeah we are the favorites going off at 10 to 11 weird odds weird weird odds all right, let's see how she does. And we're off. So, okay, start. And she's kind of going to go to the front. I think that's how she likes to run anyways. I just told the jockey to just have her challenge later. So hopefully she'll save some ground. These other horses will tire out around her. Maybe she can actually get her first win. Music magic. And they really think putting on the blinkers helped her quite a bit. When she was running with the nose band, and for whatever reason, it wasn't really helping her performance. But I switched her to blinkers, and she seems to be a lot more comfortable with that. 
So two and a half furlongs left to go. Down the stretch we come as we approach the final turn. She's still out in front. Jockey's not going yet. Still saving ground. I told him to go later. Here comes the field. Now the jockey's going to get her going. Let's see if she can ward off the challenge. She pulls away the seven horse, though. Karina Claire is still challenging. Look at Music Magic. She's hanging in there, but the seven is really going to fly past. And let's see if she can fight back. She might not be able to. Hopefully, she just finishes in second. That'll still be a good show to have. Seven is going to be a little bit too strong. But Music Magic, she didn't give up. Now she's going to tail off. Oh, don't give up at the wire, girl. Uh, she may have just lost out to third there. Oh, that's disappointing. Maybe we got second? No, she just, okay, she did hold on. All right, awesome. She just held on. Okay, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. We still won our bets. I don't know how much. Um, let's see. Single bets, 8,000. Return 52K. We just, okay, so we bet 44,000. We won back 52,000. Well, essentially, we won back our original 44,000 plus 8,000. So, that's cool. We have more money than we did previously. Written as a stalker, which suited. Yeah. Okay. So I, I have figured out her running style for the most part. So that, that that's actually good. I'm very happy with that. And now we move up from 90 to 86 in our ranking. So that's good. We are we are developing. We're moving along. Moving along here. And her rating is up at a 78. I wonder if she's going to be a grade. Yeah, she's actually improving quite a bit. Two back-to-back -back second place finishes. For music magic. Now her fitness has dropped. It's no problem. We'll get that back up in no time. Yeah, I really do wonder. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm happy with her performances. She was I was very hesitant about her prior to her making her racing debut. Then she did debut. She finished seventh out of ninth. Two back to back second place finishes. Now that that win is looming. Ran her on a muddy track. And, of course, that seems to do well for her. Now, Hidden Valley. She likes heavy tracks. Does she also like wet conditions? I wonder. Yeah, she must also probably like very similar conditions. Okay, well, she's ready to go. Let's get her into a race. Unfortunately, there's nothing. I can't get uh, new horses. It's really kind of annoying. Now, there is post-race. Oh, I missed the post-race auction. When's the next one? Not for a while. Darn it. Um, okay, so you have to you have to go to the sales page to see if your horse sold. Yeah, he, he sold for 41000 That's a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. I mean, I'm glad that he's gone, most importantly. <laughs> but it just would have been nice if there was some indicator. Like, the game will tell you about training session results, but not when your horse sells? Okay interesting priorities so a uh, hidden valley she's ready to go again um she doesn't have i mean her stamina is okay i don't let me see what she won at a mile okay so yeah definitely running her at a mile okay i, I didn't know for sure if i could, should keep her at a mile but i should all right so let's look for four-year-olds and up and race distance, obviously a mile. Anything above that should be okay. So she can't run anywhere there. Any forecast going on here? Oh, well, most of these races looks pretty dry. Yeah, it looks pretty dry for most of these. Where are these even happening at Iowa? Okay. Hmm. So it's a grade, let's try in a grade three. She didn't do well in the grade two. We'll drop her in class to a grade three. Where are these horses rated? Okay, we have a 30 rated horse in here, 56, 75, 64. She might actually have a chance in this field. Maybe this is more her speed. All right, we'll get Velasquez, even though he never actually ends up being the jockey. Even though I always select him. And then Hidden Valley. 5,100 late declaration penalty. I have to be better about that, but it is what it is for now. We're still in the beginning stages of this game anyway, so I need to figure this stuff out. All right, so she's racing the 31st, so quite some time. I can't acquire any new horses, which is annoying. So I'm going to skip a day. Um, and Music Magic, she's ready to go again. All right, let's see if we can get her into another suitable race. Two years old, two year olds and only. Two-year-olds only. What am I talking about? 
Um, prefer to look for a race, obviously, with some muddy conditions, but I'm not seeing anything on the forecast right now. Not today. Okay, here we go. We have um, some rain for these races here in Phoenix. That's oh, it's February 27th. Uh, it's quite a ways off. I'm going to skip another day to see if anything changes here. I want to see if there's any more suitable races happening sooner than later. One mile, Sunshine Classics, the grade one. I Let's see what the rating horse... Okay, all these horses are rated 100. No way, she would get smoked in that field. What about this grade two? Yeah, she's not ready for that either. Uh, let's see, seven furlong Santa Monica handicap. This is all on turf, though. It doesn't suit her. I don't know what these green indicators mean. I wonder if these... This in a different country? How much would that cost? I just thought about it. Since we, we'd be traveling across across the world, essentially. Um, big purse, though. Grade 1. Conditions race. What conditions? 3-year-old? Okay. like 2-year-olds. I'm like, why am I even seeing 3-year-old races? Princess Charlene of Monaco Allowance Race. And all these horses are from South Africa. I'm, I'm just curious what would happen if I put her in this race. Let's select the jockey. I mean, the travel fee would probably be way too much, to be honest. 17000 for a late declaration as well? No thanks. I just wanted to see. No way I'm doing that. Um... Yeah, she's not really capable of running, and there's no races for her, no good ones. Uh, so, yeah, they're both ready to go. I mean, Hidden Valley, we have to wait a little bit for her race, still a couple more days. Well, let's skip a day. Nothing good is popping up that I even want to put her in. I'm not going to race her for the sake of racing her. She should do a little bit more training, though. So, actually, we'll have them do some light training here today. Hidden Valley, I had her do stamina training. I'll keep her to that. And then, um, yeah, I'll just have them do light stamina training. Let's just do, like, they can do seven furlongs. Actually, let's run them at a mile. We'll run them at a mile. It's still a couple of days left until Hidden Valley's ready to go. Um, why do they keep showing me races in South Africa? Like, I'm not I'm not going to South Africa to a, for, for a race. Like, why, why would we want to do that right now? We're not in a position just to be traveling all across the world like that. We haven't established ourselves like that yet. Now, um, here are some more races on the dirt, finally. But again, no muddy conditions. And we'll probably get a late declaration penalty too. I, I'm not going to force it, man. I want to wait till the. I want to wait to put her in the ideal race. Oh, did I skip the training session? Mm, I never. Now Hidden Valley's not ready to run. Oh no, that's not good. What did I do? Course is a little short of work. Yeah, okay, so stamina training. Maybe let's drop her back. Yeah, I just didn't want to do that. Um, Alright, so let's do that and then uh, skip. Okay, she's still not in the green. Her fitness, her fitness is all the way up, but her conditioning is not. Well, she was race ready, and then I trained her, and now I've kind of knocked her out of being race ready. I didn't really mean to do that. They're both a little short of work. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do as far as that's concerned. Music magic, please. Some muddy conditions at all. You know what? I'm not risking it. I'm just going to skip. All right. She's still not ready to... I mean, she's racing today, but she's still... Her fitness is not good. Don't really know how I managed. I don't know how that happened. And Music Magic. I'm just going to check one more time. Are there any good races for you? No. I mean, these are okay, but I would still prefer to look for races with at least muddy track conditions, which we're not really getting. I would have to wait. After... What if this weather changes? How do I know it's going to stay rainy this far ahead? You know what I mean? That's too long. I don't want to give her that long of a layoff. I know what happens. I know you can do that. But in this game, I don't know if that's going to be too long or not. All right. Let's go for Hidden Valley. I had her in the green, and I knocked her out of that. So 
And all I had her do was just light training at a mile, but I guess running the longer distance is not really ideal all the time. Again, training in this game doesn't really make sense. Uh, Hidden Valley, where are you? There she is. All right. Uh, not good odds. She's not expected to finish too high up the order. Um, now, this is a grade three, so she's dropping in class from her grade two last time out. Let's see how she responds to a grade three. She's not the lowest rated horse in this field, at least, so hopefully she has some sort of a chance. And Jockey, I'm just going to say... Well, I'm not going to say challenge late yet. The last time we raced her, she was way too far off the pace, and she actually challenged too, too late. Or she challenged way too late. So I'm going to be a little bit more mindful. I'm just kind of going to watch the race develop and then actually gauge where exactly she might need to go. Because she has really good closing speed. She's definitely a closer. But if she waits too long, she won't make up that distance in time. So let's see what happens here. So it's a grade three. We're going a mile, and we're off. Now, of course, she's going to sit at the back, as she always does. And uh, I'll be mindful of when she should get going. Okay, that was a little weird thing that just happened there. So, yeah, well, um, I like where she is now. She's not too far off the lead. She has a nice little trip upside the rail here. Hopefully that can open up for her and she can make some moves. But I'm going to keep her where she's at for now. I might tell the jockey to go a little bit early because she, she usually finishes with a, with a good burst at the end. I don't want her to have too much stamina left. So, once we get to around three furlongs, I might tell the jockey to start going a little bit early. Um, yeah, she's stalking. Now a jockey is going. I'm going to say go early. Go a little bit early. Okay, she's there in striking distance. The leader's having a very comfortable race up there at the front. Tell her to go now. Let's see what she does. So two furlongs left to go. She's still quite a ways off the pace here, but she's not going away yet. Let's see if she has a stride, any kick. This is a great three after all. These are tougher horses. Let's see how she can pete. She's still there. Nothing's really happening, though. Now she's kind of tailoring back. Now she's falling back. She might have called it a day. She'll still finish fifth. I wonder if that's a money place finish in this game. Okay, so she finishes fifth. I mean, she beats out three other horses, so that's not terrible. It's not terrible, but she wasn't going to go for the win, clearly. She clearly just didn't have enough to keep up with those horses at the front, and not to mention she wasn't in race-ready condition. Yeah, do we even get anything for that? It just shows you the top three. I don't know if you win anything as far as any prize money. Uh... This horse struggled in this grade. Yeah, you see, this is what I mean. The jo This is one of no. This is not the same jockey. Another jockey that said move her up in, in in class, and she she can't handle it. Unfortunately, she's just not there. So yeah, like running. I don't have any horses that can run in any graded state races. I'm gonna enter this. Bi I'm gonna enter the auction for this Amy, this three year old filly Amy, just to see what they're talking. Uh. I was looking at it before they got up that high. 97,000? I mean, I don't want to do that. I know she just won a race, but 97K? Like, what? Mm -mm. Not doing it. Whatever. All right. Um. So, Hidden Valley. Now she's ready. <laughs> this game makes no sense. I, tr I was training her too much, and it dropped her from being ready. Now she's ready after running in a race. Gosh, this game. <laughs> this game is starting not to make sense with things. I, I should have expected it, though. I uh, can't say I'm surprised, right? Huh. Now it says she's ready to go again. I might as well enter her in a race if she's ready to go. I want to run her in while she's in the green. So let's do four-year-olds. And... Let's actually try to schedule in a race ahead of time so I don't have to have that stupid declaration fee or penalty. A handicap race, four-year-olds and up. 
what's the field looking like? Only a field of four. Ten thousand dollar purse though. Um, I think I'm gonna consider it. Very short field. They could increase later on, but why not? I'm gonna give it a shot. The last guys, even though he never wants to ride with us. Wait. Where do these like how I mean how how early do I need to enter the horse in a race? There's no indicator. Yeah, I've read through the PDF. There's no real indicator of how early you need to enter your horse into a race to avoid that late declaration penalty. That's a little bit annoying. I mean, how early? Like this is oh, okay. Let's see. So, we're going to go to 4 year olds again. Let me look a week out. More than a week. I'd be shocked if like that's still not early enough for this game. I'm like, how early do you want me to put my horses into a race? Like, come on. <laughs> it's like work with me, man. Um I don't let me <sighs> Santa Maria. Yeah, she'd be outclassed there. The selling race. Prize pool is low, but she could win this race pretty handily. There's another race. It's a handicap. She might be okay in this race. What's the prize pool? Double. I might try her out in this. Let's see if there's a late declaration penalty again. I don't understand. Like, what, what, how early do you have to register your horse in a race in this game to avoid that? Like, unbelievable. Late declaration. Okay. When? So, is it these green arrows I have to pay attention to? No. Like, how? The 17th. So, today, today is February 1st. If I re registered in a race, in the 17th. That's more than two weeks out. Declaration penalty cut off. Okay, so this thing, so any race after here would be good. <sighs> so long though. I don't want her getting out of shape. You know what? I'll deal with it anyways. Like it's, um, I'm going to run her in this race. It's a little bit tougher. I think she would win this selling race, but I mean, don't really know if that'd be worth it for her. You know what? Actually, I will stick to the selling race. I don't think it's much of a challenge, but if she can get a win. I think that's a little bit more important. So we'll do that. That's fine. Skip. Uh, let's see. I don't want to do training. Last time I did that, it, oh, she's not racing until February 10th. We actually have some time. All right. What's her fitness? Her fitness is not all the way up. Okay. They both do need some training. Uh, let's just have them do like mid intensity training. I'm going to have them just do five furlongs. Let's just keep it short. And, um, I'm not even going to watch it. Let's just skip. So no notes, not going to give us any notes, but let's see what's her fitness at now. Still not all the way up. Still not all the way up. I wonder, does the training even work if you watch, if you skip it? There's like no notes pop up about how it went or anything. So, I'm curious if like, you only see results when you actually watch your training. Again, a lot of these things aren't really thoroughly explained, so. Um, okay, well, maybe I need to set somebody as a lead horse. I forgot to do that actually. All right, let's have them do the same thing. Skip. Okay, there is a sale today. I will go to it. And yeah, nothing is happening with either of them for their fitness. Like it's not tra it's not changing. So I wonder if like I actually have to watch that. That'd be a little goofy. So here we have a sales today, weekly auction. I will attend. Um Let's see, what are you looking like? This is a, okay, you've done pretty badly. In fact, you're just on the decline, not gonna look at you. So recent form, let's see, who is worth? Quickfire, looks like a pretty good filly. She's 83 rated, three years old. I can imagine they'll be bidding pretty high for her. Zakharova, two wins, that's not terrible. 
Um, okay, Ice Trooper, fourth place. Let's just start the auction. I'm looking at Quickfire and Zakharova. And let's see if they're even worth trying to. Okay, rough, so this is the reserve price. Quickfire, of course, figured he would be a, she would be a lot. Zarkova figured she'd be a lot. That's the minimum. I'm not even going to bother with those. Now, as far as financially, I could do Raf okay, Raul, uh, Rafalina. And she's actually a mare. We could get her and use her for bit uh for breeding, actually. I'm gonna give her a shot. I hope no I hope they don't bid her too high. Like don't don't do that to me, please. Twenty two hundred? Okay. I'll do thirty two hundred. Anybody gonna go higher than that? Going once, going twice. Sold. Awesome. We got her for thirty two hundred. Perfect. That's literally nothing. Great, we have a brood mare. Or we have a mare that we can hopefully use. I think we still need the breeding thing anyways, but awesome. All right, that, that actually worked out for us. Fantastic. So finally we acquired a new horse. Welcome, Rafalina, to the Horse Racing Gamer Stables. Nine-year-old mare who hasn't won a race. She's inherently bad. Um, <laughs> she's pretty bad. And she's on the drop-off. Her fitness and conditioning are really high, though. I'm going to give her a shot. Maybe she's not... Maybe she just hasn't been running in the right races. So she likes a slower track. I mean, what what does that really mean in this game? Like, there's no indicator of what is actually a slow track in this game. Not really. They've been running her at 5 and 6 furlongs. They've been running her in pretty high classes, though. That's interesting. I mean, they've been running her against pretty tough competition. Why would you want to do that? She's ready to race right now. Okay, she's already in a race. She's in a race for the second week in March. Can I scratch her from this? This is probably way too tough for her. I don't... No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Um, actually, she hasn't... I'm going to put her with... Uh, see instructions. There is no instructions, but okay. I mean, instructions probably means the PDF. I'll put her with the visor. I want to scratch her from that race in Boston. I feel like that's way too out of her reach. Um, so she likes to run five or six. So let's look for anything really. Let's just split the diff, diff, distance at at least five furlongs. Um, six years old and up. No, five year old and up. No, four-year-old and up. All right, when is that? February? It's nothing. I know this isn't open. 95 though. Yeah, way too high. These are pretty, pretty high for her, man. Is there really nothing decent she can run in? Isn't stacked with horses much better than her? I think she needs just a, a quite a drop. A selling race. This should be much better. Okay, yeah, here we go. Perfect. A selling race. Um. Is this the race I was already running her in? I wonder. Oh, this is Houston. They were running her in Boston. No, this is much better. Okay, let, let's try her out here. There we go. 712 miles. Heck yeah. Let's get her in that race. Let's see if we can maybe revitalize her career a bit. And if not, maybe I can send her out to the breeding. Well, I still don't know how breeding works exactly in this game. I'll have to wait. Uh, so let's skip. Now, Hidden Valley is not ready again. Doesn't make sense. I'm going to skip again. I'm going to skip again. I'm going to skip again. So, yes, training definitely needs to happen to keep your horse ready. All right, I'm going to have everybody run today. Let's just do light pace, please. Light intensity. Just do balance training. Um, Rafina, where are you at? Okay, you're pretty, you're pretty solid. Have you all uh, train here? I'm going to watch just because I want to see those notes, even though they really don't mean nothing in hindsight because, like, they're so inaccurate. Have them go five furlongs. And uh, we'll be approaching the end of this video here pretty soon. I think we're almost at two hours by this point. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed what you have seen. So, uh, Rafina. Okay, she has the full uh, visor on. I like that look. Love it. All right. 
She's nine years old. She is an old gal. I guess I would like to use her for, for breeding for sure. I want to see how that works. We can actually get our first original in here. Um, but I don't know if I still need to acquire like that barn. There's just It's too high priced. Like, what are you supposed to do? The only way you get that money, really, the loan is not enough. The loan is not enough to help me get the breeding barn. And the, the biggest prize pools are only with grade one horses. And again, I, you, I don't have the money for a grade one horse. So it's like, what is the game expecting me to do? You know what I mean? Like, it's not giving me a whole lot of options. I need more money to afford everything else to, to afford better horses. But I can't get there without having a better horse that can run in the bigger prize pool races. So let's see what the notes say for that training session. They're all ready to go. Okay, five furlongs, low pace. I'm gonna write that down. Maybe that's all I need to do for training for the time being. Um, let's see, training, let's do five. Five furlongs, blue intensity. That's just the color of the bar. Yeah, well, let's so weird that that really put everybody in, into good shape i did nothing significant this is what i mean this game doesn't really make sense with some of these things but whatever <laughs> all right yeah i'm, I'm excited to see rough uh ruffling a run hidden valley needs a larger larger gallop i mean whatever i don't care because it doesn't really make sense anyways all right and it's race day for Hidden Valley. Everybody's still ready to run, which is good. I'm glad they're all, all the gals are ready to go. All the gals are ready to go. Uh, so let's go to the track. Oh, sales. Wait, there are sales here today. This is, is this breeding sales? I thought oh, it is. Breeding mares. Hmm. River Lullaby. Bad horse, but she's 11 years old and she's probably cheap. Well, clearly. I'll, I'll take her if I have a chance. I mean, why not? Uh, where is she? River Lullaby, because everybody else is bidding way too high, yeah. We'll probably be able to get her. She's at a really good price. I'm about bet 100 more. I'm about 100 more. 3,100. Yep, give it to me. Come on. Going once, going twice, sell it to Horse Racing Gamer. We're on our way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we will quit the auction. Good stuff. We acquired two brew mares. I thought I did. Did I not? Oh, I don't have enough space for her. So did they just take my money? <laughs> uh, increased horse capacity, 27,000. Okay, yeah. Let, let's go ahead and do that. I should have did that earlier. I mean, did I even acquire her? Did I just waste my money? Oh, no. She's actually a breeding mare. Okay. I still need the breeding barn to use her, though. <sighs> well, okay. She is a breeding mare that's already in good condition to do this but <sighs> oh I just need the breeding barn in order to retire my own horses for breeding so I wonder if I can still use her I mean seriously why is this thing 340,000 bro like I can't get there unless I have horses that can win graded any grade 3 grade 2 or grade 1 race I don't have horses that can do that right now it's pretty agitating to say the least Training stalls. What does this do? Improve horse's starting ability? I don't care about that. Field space is small barn. Okay, this is what you can get to send your horses out to grass. Alright. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying, honestly. Alright, well, Hidden Valley, she's up to race today let's just go and do that actually let me check one thing can i breed her though see these are sires and these are the cover fees i wonder if i even need to expand space in my barn i, I didn't i thought i didn't have enough space but actually i think i probably did and i just kind of spent 27k when i didn't need to but nonetheless like we had the extra space just for future reference i just I guess I wish I was paying more attention, but it's fine. All right, let, let's look to see. Any decent sires we can breed her with? Now, River Lullaby. Um, what are her stats? Offspring? Does she already have offspring? She has four 
and uh, they're all pretty young, so nobody really knows what she's capable of as a broodmare. And her stats aren't great, obviously, but hopefully breeding her with a decent sire, maybe we'll get something decent. Okay, so let's go... I didn't mean to do that. Breeding. Fee. Yeah, cheap fee. I'm not trying to pay too much. Now, Soloway Star. He's won two races out of seven starts. It's not bad. Um, he's ready to go. You have Converti here. Um, he's won two races out of nine starts. 72 rating. I like this 95 rating person. We have a 103 rating uh, here with I'm So Lucky. Two wins out of... I might be worth it. His fee is only 15k. Can we do that? Um, so yeah, how do I actually select... To receive breeding offers, you must purchase the stud via the stable menu. So I can't use these sires? Oh yeah, yes I can. I forgot I have to actually select the thing. Oh, where do you go? Crap, crap, crap. Alright. I'm so lucky. Yeah, I want to try you out. Um, let me look at him again, though. Uh, I can't even look at his stats here. Okay. Uh, he won a... He won a grade 2. Finished second in a grade 3. I mean, that's better than what we're doing now. So, like, if we can get a horse of, um, with that potential, I'll take it. So, yeah, that'll cost 15k. Let's select. So... I selected him. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen now. Why is this thing still in the way? Like, I get it. I'm not worried about retiring my horses for breeding right now. Like, stop telling me that. But hopefully it'll work. Um, so is he even selected as a sire? I selected him, but like, I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, no, I have to select her too. I keep forgetting. Okay, yes, we can confirm this for 15k. Oh, we do need the breeding facilities. Ugh. 340,000. Where is it at? That's so annoying. Like, I, I don't have the money to afford it. <sighs> I thought... I mean, we have... Well... I, I guess I just wish that um, if you were using an, uh, you know a sire from obviously someone else, you wouldn't necessarily need to have the facilities. You know what I mean? But apparently you do. Three hundred forty k. Like how? Uh, how am I supposed to get that money? Like I said, loans, you can't even take out... I mean, $60,000 is the biggest loan you can take out. That doesn't help at all. So no breeding for a while in this game. That's that's really disappointing, actually. Uh, that's really disappointing. Let's see what Hidden Valley is going to do here today. And like I said, the game starts you off with three horses. It'd be different if you could actually pick your horses. I think that would help. It's like it gives you what you have, and you really do have to figure out a way to, to, to make them work. We are carrying a three pound handicap because she is, I mean, this is a selling race. She's the highest rated horse, heavy favorite. Um, I will be betting on myself for, I'll do this one. I'll just do like 5K or something. Um, so did I pay that? Did it clear? It's not happening. Okay, can I do that? Why is that not working? No, not working. I don't want to do max win because every time I do that, I end up betting too much. Uh, what? Maybe, okay, maybe it's this type of bet. Let's just do 5,000. There we go. Sorry, my fault. Okay. There's about 5,000 on ourselves to win. Uh, let's go watch. But yeah, that's a really bummer. I mean, that's a really a big bummer about the breeding. Like, we just, we need half, we need two times as much money to even afford the breeding barn. How? We can only get that by winning, you know, 
uh, grade two, grade threes, whatever. And I don't have a horse capable of that right now. And I don't have the money to even bid for a horse that can win those races. So it's like I have to stick with the fillies that I have now. And I would have to really grind and just win a lot of easy races with them over time. Or I would have to try to put them in those bigger graded races and hope that they eventually win one. That's the only way we're going to get enough money to afford the breeding barn anytime soon. Otherwise, I'm really just going to have to do like a really tedious grind of like just putting my horses in a lot of really easy races for them that they can win. And then we'll just have to stack our purse money from there. That's like literally the only way we can actually accumulate money for breeding here. Again, that's it's a bit annoying, especially since the game doesn't even start you off with enough money to begin with. <laughs> So you're already playing from behind, and it doesn't really give you options to accumulate money properly. Especially if you have mediocre horses, which is essentially my case right now. Oh, well, here we are with Hidden Valley. She's at the back. Um, she's actually, I mean, not at the back. She's, she's sitting at the front here in third. She should win this pretty easily. I, I'm really just going just gonna to have her sit where she's at. I can't imagine she should struggle with any of these horses, honestly. No offense to them, but... I mean, if I were to put her in all the, in races like these, where the purse is 4 k we'd have to do this race, like, what? 30 times minimum just to even get close to making the money we need? Okay, now she's still at the back. Okay, you need to go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. All right, now drive. Here we go. Two furlongs left to go. She should have a pretty strong surge here at about a furlong, furlong and a half, I hope. Here she comes. Here she comes. Furlong and a half. Get up there, girl. Get up there. Grind, man. Center to the front. Center to the front. Furlong left to go. I need some surge. I need to surge. Half a furlong left. Come on, man. This is an easy field. Go. Go. Half a furlong left. Finally, she kicks out in front. And she wins. She barely wins. Like, this is this was an easy field. Happy for the win, but that was an easy field. Why was that so hard? <laughs> that was so hard. She almost could have lost that. But well, she gets to win. <sighs> we'll take it. We win our, we'll win our wager money as well. All right. I mean, this is really the only way I could get stack my money up to get the breeding barn. Enter these races. Bet on myself. Take my profits and rinse and repeat. We're not moving up in class. Stop saying that. Every time I do that, she gets smoked. Like, stop. Ugh, I hate when the games are programmed to say stupid stuff. Like, why do developers do that? They program the game to have these characters say things that doesn't even make sense. It's so ridiculous. Lots in this auction. Um, This is an auction race. I hope nobody takes her away. But then again... If she, if somebody pays a lot of money for her, that could put us closer towards the breeding barn. I still have two other Philly, well, a Philly and American race. Uh, can I qu quit the auction? Okay, nobody bought her. Thank goodness. Um. So yeah, she moves up now to a seventy-eight ranked or seventy-eight rating. Um. There's another win for her. Her rating's moving up. I wonder if I could get her up to being like a graded horse if I can continue to have her win those type of races. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder if that would really help her along the way. Her potential rating is going up. This shaded green bar used to be a lot lower. Now it's going up. So I think we are still kind of helping her get better. But it's still going to be quite a grind. Uh, Music Magic, let's get you back in another race. You need a win desperately. Two second place finishes at five furlongs. I swear we're close. Um, and turn to a race, just two year olds only. Risk of showers. I want, okay, heavy showers. Let's try her heavy showers. Okay, these are bigger pools, much bigger pools. 26,000, that's what I'm talking about. At least give, At least give bigger purses for us to compete with. And I feel like we actually have a chance. Yeah, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do this. All right, cool. Late declaration, I don't care. That's fine. All right. We'll put her in there. Heavy showers. Um, hopefully that'll suit her best. There is another sales. I mean, what is really the point? Like, I can't even buy the breeding barn right now. Thought I could still do it even 
if I um, per se like got a horse that was ready for breeding and use an international stallion or sire, but no, you still need it. It's like so, so stupid. Honestly, it really is. So the game is just trying to keep you from doing things. I get it. You can get there. I went a couple of races with with relatively nice size purse, and yes, we could probably get there, but that still takes some time. Clearly. Hen Valley's ready to go again, too. Let's just... Come on. It's back-to-back. -back. Um, I do want to get Ralph... I do want to put Ralphina in a race before the end of this video. I mean, I want you guys to watch her before the end of this video, so... Um, Hen Valley... Oh, she, she's four years old. All right. Uh, let's just do four years old and up. I mean... At a mile. Risk of showers. Where's the deck? Where's the late cutoff? I'll give her quite a bit of time until she can race again. All these races are like in different countries, though. We're not trying to do that. What, is this in South Africa? No, Arcadia. Is she running that? That's a stacked field. She's not going to be able to do that. That's what I mean. I can't even do any of the big races. Like, winning one of these would be fine. She's not capable of doing that. A grade two, probably going to be too outclassed. Yeah, these horses are too stacked, man. These selling races are about the limit of what she can do. Maybe a handicap race here and there. I don't know. Um, here's an allowance race. No, I feel those way too stacked. This handicap race is okay. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Uh, no late declaration. Thank goodness. All right. Everybody's ready to go. And I'm not even going to spend time training them, like, unless I absolutely need to. Mm. I'm not going to take out a loan until we are closer towards um having a chance of actually getting that breeding barn. But until that happens, there's no point to take out a loan right now. So let's, let's, uh, let's skip to the day before. Now Music Magic is not ready. Our fitness has dropped quite a bit. Okay, we need to do some training here today. Hopefully it doesn't hurt her too much. Do light training, music magic as always. You take the reins. I mean, you take the lead and you go. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm very curious how things are going to happen, obviously. I'm going to continue to play this game until, obviously, we are forced uh, into a position of not being able to move forward. But I just wonder how long it'll take me to get to the point where I can get the breeding barn. Because that'll make a big difference, I think, for us. I'll actually be able to kind of get the horses I want um, more so based off of actually breeding our mares with some pretty good grade one or grade two international sires. Even a really strong grade three sire would be better than anything. So and I think we could start building for the future. But again, we have to accumulate the funds to get there. So that that is going to be quite the grind. So I might have to do it in a bit of a cheesy way. Like I said, if it means putting my horses in really easy races just so we can stack money and bet on ourselves, like that's what I'm going to have to do. The game is giving me no other options. Like That's the thing. The game doesn't give you many options. You just have to be resourceful and do what you have to do to advance. You know, Some people like that. I think it's a little bit of, annoy of an annoying thing because it takes the fun out of the game. It's just like you're just grinding just to earn money, just to have a chance at doing something. Like you shouldn't have to do that in a video game unnecessarily to such a degree. I love grinding, don't get me wrong, but not to the point where it just it becomes un it becomes not enjoyable. Like that that is when grinding it just it becomes a pain to deal with and it's just like, uh, this is not why I want to play the game. This is taking the fun out of it. Music Magic, for whatever reason, she dropped out of I mean, I know I probably should have been training her a little bit, lightly, just to keep her ready to go. We'll go. Let's see. Hopefully she does well here today. Whenever she's racing. Okay, she's in a field of seven. She can spike to the finish towards the back of the field. Not great. Not going to bet. I could, but, you know, I don't know how she's going to do here. Now, I wonder what the weather conditions are. Let's just go ahead and watch. It said it was supposed to be potentially heavy rain. Watch, there's going to be no rain here at all. Okay, it is rain. All right, that's good. That could help. Let's see. Number seven, and she's off. So she's always going to go towards the front. Uh, that's how she likes to run. Um, 
As far as what the jockey needs to do, I'm not completely sure what to tell him to do. I think last time I said to go later, so I will select that. Yeah, I will say go later. We'll let these horses do what they want to do. Maybe they'll tire themselves out. I said go later, man. Don't challenge if it's not necessary. It is a short track, though, but we'll see. All right, two furlongs left to go. Around the final corner. Down the stretch we come. Music Magic, she is still out in front, but she's going to get challenged by Payne Pedro, who's going to go flying past. She's not supposed to win today. She's not in the green readiness, and uh, she's falling off quite a bit. I think she's had it. She's called it a day, and she is pretty much all but done for this race. So, yeah, she has definitely had enough. She's completely gassed. Completely gassed. Hmm. She finishes sixth. It's disappointing. That's not going to help us in our efforts to earn money for the breeding barn. Yeah, man, that's a bummer. Keep saying she's a stalker. She's not. I don't know why the game keeps putting her in that category. All right. Uh, we're going to have to skip a couple of days. I'm not going to skip all the way to the next race because I just want to... Okay, now they're not in shape. So, yeah, you do still have to keep up with training them. All right. Let's just do some light work. Five furlongs. Um, let's skip. Okay. Like, I guess training doesn't work unless you actually watch it. That, that's... Wait, actually, you know what? I didn't even select anybody for training there. Let me do this. See, let's see if this works. Now skip. I'm going to do the same thing again. And skip. I'm going to do it again. I swear you actually have to watch training to get any real results. That's so strange. Why would, why would it force you to do that? Yeah. going to have to watch training again. Um... I'm going to have them go a little bit harder here today. Five furlongs. Yeah, so uh, you guys let me know your thoughts in regards to whether or not you would like me to continue this series. Like I said, I, I am enjoying this game, but it is annoying in regards to the grinding for the breeding barn. That, that takes a lot of the initial fun factor out of it, because then it just becomes like homework. It's just a headache, and it's you're not really playing the game, I think, in a fun way. I thought I had everybody training. Why are there only two horses out here? Ugh, whatever. Um, yeah, like, I, I want to see how far I can get. And like I said, I would love to get to the point where we can finally have really strong grade one, grade two, and, you know, uh, horses. Grade three, of course, but... I would love to get to that point, but again, it's going to be very hard when I can't even I can't acquire any of those great horses. The easiest and the best option, I should say, the most viable option is to do it through breeding. Yes, that'll take some time in the game, but at least I'll know I'll have potential winning horses coming, in, you know, into our stables. We don't have the money to buy any horse that's legitimately a grade one or grade two contender. The auctions, the AI bet weights, they bid way too high. They bet more money than you even have in your account, so you literally can't even compete with them. Uh, most of the sales, the only legitimate horses you can get are really bad horses, or at least below average. So, like, literally the only way to really, I guess, get good horses for now on this difficulty is through breeding. And I can't even get the breeding barn, so it's like WTF. And again, now you can see we watched the training session. Hidden Valley, she's ready to go. Now she's ready to go. Um, let's do another training session again. Let's do. Let's just do six for a long. So bump it up a bit. Oh, I forgot. Only one gallop per day. My bad. Uh, okay. Thought I had out all the fem all the filly selected. Let's try this again. Six for longs. Um. Okay, we're getting closer. Getting closer. We'll get to our last two races. So yeah, uh, like I said, let me know your thoughts, obviously, as we continue to close out this episode, whether or not you think this is really worth pushing on. I don't know if I've ever gotten this far in my previous playthroughs. I always just kind of just ended up quitting the game or stopping the series, I guess, before I really developed. And obviously, I'm taking my time now to actually understand this game. And I don't think I was under the impression of how difficult it was actually going to be to get the breeding barn through any of my previous playthroughs, you know? 
clearly. I, I don't think. I think this is definitely the furthest I've gotten. So now that we're kind of here, it's like, is it really worth it? I'm totally down for it. I mean, I'm down for the challenge. It's just, like I said, it just takes a lot of the fun out of it when it just becomes just kind of like a nuisance of grinding. And it's not like a fun grind. Like, there are games that I play, and the grinding is, like, fun. There's a lot of different stuff to do. You can get there. Um, you know, Gallup Racer 3. Gallup Racer 3 is a fun grind because at least we can, we have success. We can win. We can breed right off the bat. This game doesn't give you any of those options, you know? Not really. Not in a very doable way. So the grinding then doesn't become fun, which takes, again, a lot of the enjoyment out of the game. And that's my only issue right now. It's just taking that fun aspect out of it to an extent because it's very difficult to get the money and accumulate the money to get the breeding barn. You know? So, uh, like I said, you guys just let me know what you think. Hidden Valley, could you please catch up? My goodness. Uh, oh, no. She's injured. No. She wasn't, well, she was race ready and then, okay. Running her too hard, I guess. Darn it, my bad. Sorry. Um, is injury about that? may require via the horse data screen. Ah. Well, I don't think she'll be ready to run clearly at the 28th. Horse data screen. Um, where is the vet? I thought it was on this screen. Is it not? I swore it was on this screen where the horse, where you could uh, have the vet come by. This is just detailed stats, but there's nothing there. Um, would it be stable info? I swore it used to be here, and I don't see it anymore. What is this? Oh, that's auction. Um, stable info. Hmm. Is anything about the vet on this screen? No? Okay. Yeah, I swore it was somewhere back here, but... That's a bummer. Okay, well, no more training. Alright, let's skip. Let's skip. She's still injured, but, like, I don't know where the vet is. <laughs> Oh, the vet is not here. It's just not here. Yeah, this um, this game is just better at just kind of okay. Injury details: horse displaying some symptoms, heat, swelling between the cannon and splint. You have the option of paying for a vet's diagnosis by selecting the option from the top of this screen. The top of this screen. Am I just not seeing it? There's where. By diagnosis, okay. That's not the top of this. This is what I mean. You, you guys see what I'm saying? Like the things, the way the things are worded in this game and where they are. It's at the top of the screen. It's literally at the middle of the screen. Eight weeks of recovery. Yikes. Well, Hidden Valley, she's done for a while. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess we're just gonna wait till um, Music Magic. We'll see if we can get her maybe in one more race, and then we'll. Raffalina, and that'll be it for this video. Dang, that's a that's a bummer for Hidden Valley. That's my fault, though. Uh, let's see. Happy showers, March 1st. There's an open. Let's run this 12k prize pool. That's pretty nice. The last guys, I don't know why I keep selecting him. He never rides with us anymore. Late declaration, whatever. Oh, no, I'm not trying to buy that. Sorry. Okay. Alright. Well, uh, did I not put her in the race? What happened? Did it cancel? Or is she not eligible to run in the race? I didn't even think about that. I wasn't really paying attention, actually. Um, it was this race right here. Two-year-old open. Turf. Mm. I mean, I guess we have nothing to lose racing around the turf. Let's see. Oh, no transport available. How, how much is a new uh, truck? And then these things cost a lot. 7500 isn't bad for another uh, trailer. That, that's fine. But these things still cost quite a bit as well. So, like, the game is just... Uh, this stuff is just kind of... 
Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like it's there's there's a difference between making something challenging and then just making it just extremely difficult to even pro progress. I don't think anybody wants to play a video game where you feel like it's so hard to actually progress in the game. Like that's not fun for anybody. Okay, now she's ready to go into that race. I yeah, forgot we need another trailer. All right. Um they're both racing on the first. Does she run in that race? Where are they sending me stuff for? I just picked up an injury. Does she still run in that race? I thought she couldn't. Did I have to manually? Okay, now her... <laughs> so, they can still run even when they're injured. The game... Any other game that I played where a horse gets injured, they literally prevent you from running the horse in the race. Again, apparently in this game, you can still run your horse in the race. I mean, why? Why would they just? Why would they even leave that as an option? Nobody under the right mind would still run their horse with an injury. No, nobody would do that. Nobody. Nobody with common sense and love for horses would do that. Why does this game still allow you to do it? That's so strange, yo. Um, if it sounds like I'm I'm complaining. I, I hope that's not how it comes off. I'm just like, I mean, you have to think about it. That, that that's really kind of that's silly. It's extremely silly. It doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you still even keep that as an option? It's so stupid. Oh, my goodness. Well, now that I know that, I, I, I. 16 weeks. Four freaking months she's out for. Oh, gosh. I just. <laughs> that's going to. Well. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get to get. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to get the breeding barn at this rate. Like, it, this is, it's becoming ridiculous. Uh, Music Magic is up. Butchered the heck out of her name. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Do you expect to finish fourth? I mean, I, I guess I'll bet. And the thing is with betting, you can't even do, like, selective betting. I can't even select a show bet. The only bet you can do is a max show bet. And then if you... Why? Yeah, some things in this game really doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. I know it's the most realistic as far as most of the options and the layout and, you know, the comparisons to real life horse racing. But, like, my goodness, there's a lot of flaws in this game. I'm sorry. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of flaws in this game that do not make sense. It's making me just want to go back to Horse Racing Manager 2. But, like I said, I want to see how far we can get before, like, I'm literally forced to just not advance in this game. That's what I'm doing. I'm not quitting, but... Ugh, I appreciate the other games a lot. <laughs> you play this game, you see kind of the nonsense you have to deal with. It really makes you appreciate the other games a lot more, man. Because that's, that, that's, that's really goofy. That's extremely goofy. Unless, I'm still having a good time playing it. Just because, um, like I said, I am learning quite a bit. But it's, it's still stupid. <laughs> it's still quite stupid the way some of this stuff is orchestrated. Like, there's... I. Any other game, if your horse picks up an injury, you literally cannot even race the horse anymore. Like, that's the smart decision, because what what psychopath would still be racing their horse with an injury? Why is this game even giving you the option? I'm, don't say realism. We all watch horse racing. Obviously, some of you guys are into it. I mean, I know just from hearing, listening... Most of the time, horses that are injured are not still being pushed to run on an injury. And if they are still running on an injury, I would assume some illegal stuff is going on to obviously put them in that position. So, ay, ay, ay. Music Magic, she's hanging in there, though, but she's trailing off. She's trailing off. Her stamina sucks. She's going to tailor. She's probably not going to fall. Yep, she fell out of the top three, and she's still going to get fourth, I think, at the wire. She finished where we're supposed to. But, yeah, like, I just, I cannot believe that. Usually if a horse gets injured, that's it. Horse Racing Manager 2, 100%. Your horse gets injured, you, just, you can't train the horse, you can't race them, you can't do anything. You just have to let them recover. This game, oh yeah, they're injured, run them in the race. You know, they'll, they'll just get re-injured, but just go ahead, do it. Like, why is that even an option? Now, Rafalina, this is going to be the last race of the video. It's her first debut for us. She's expected to finish in last. Yeah, she's rated 30. I mean, what else would we really expect, right? <laughs> Let's see how she does anyways. Oh, man, this is going to be a struggle, bro. This 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 series, this playthrough, this reboot, it's going to be a struggle. 
Like, I actually understand the game a lot more now. And what I've understood is that, well, it doesn't make sense half the time. I, I kind of expected that. I was hoping that wasn't the case. I was hoping, actually, the realism and the other features of the game matched up. And it, it's very inconsistent. Very inconsistent. So that's not good. Um, the presentation, I like. I, I think it's a lovely presentation to watch. Obviously, these races and whatnot. Uh, I like the customization options that you can at least have for your horses as far as, you know, blinkers, noseband, blinders. Um, I said the same thing. Uh, but visor, I should say, which is what technically she's wearing now. And then it's uh, blinders and the noseband. Obviously, the comparisons to the real tracks, the real horses, that's cool to have in a game. But my goodness, some of the other stuff is so inherently flawed, bro. And like I said, just the fact that the game handicaps you so much and makes everything so costly when it comes to breeding and the most important essentials. is like, how are you supposed to really go anywhere, you know? You have to have a good horse to have the money to get better good horses. And you you don't, the game just gives you three horses off rip. Like, you don't even have a chance to choose your horses from the start. Not really. So, Rafaelina, she's not going to do well in her debut. I mean, she's pretty much probably beyond her, her prime. But, um, yeah, she tapered off, honestly. I just, I wonder with more stamina, would she actually be a little bit better in the stretch? She didn't look too bad until she hit the stretch. And then she just didn't have speed and she just started to fall away. So I still feel like maybe she's a horse I can work with despite her age. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, it's um, two horses are up for sale. There's no reserve prices. It's two Colts. You know what, I'm, I'm just going to enter this bit. I'm going to enter the auction and just see what these fools are going to be bidding for them. 32, that's already too high. 79, yeah. Um, psh, goodbye. Not doing that. I will never get to the breeding barn at that rate. Okay, next. 751. 51 isn't, oh, well, I'm not paying close to 10K. Who is this for? Fool's Gold? 47? Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Well, Ralphina, they still want her to race in this race in Boston. Can I scratch her from that? Because she'll probably get injured. How do you scratch horses in this game? How do you, how do you cancel a declaration? I don't know how. I'll remove horse. There we go. Yes, get her out of there. All right. Well... Guys, this is going to do it. Like I said, comment section below. You let me know your thoughts on what you've seen so far. Out of any video I've done on this channel playing this game, this is by far at least the most in-depth one that I've done. And I actually do understand the game way more than I did ever before. Which is also why I'm a little bit just kind of eh about just the game itself. Like I said, I do like it and I was having fun. But like I said, the grinding aspect that it's going to take to get this breeding barn. Ugh. There's really no other way to do it. I would have to cheese like these easy races, as I said earlier, and bet on myself. Um, that's about it. Because there's there's no other way to accumulate money. And the fact that the highest loan amount is 60 k I understand trying to make a game realistic, but it's a video game for crying out loud. Like It's the same thing with Gran Turismo 7, which is a uh, a racing game that just came out. The developers are saying the same thing. We want to make the game realistic, so we're going to make the car price in the game the real value. So there's a McLaren in that game that's actually that cost 18 million credits in the game, 18 million dollars, because that's the real life value of the car. Most gamers, nine out of ten, are like, okay, we we play games to enjoy things that we probably won't get to in real life. Don't try to cross those worlds so much that it makes it unenjoyable for the gamer. That's why I feel like this game has done. In some way. So, I'm a little bit conflicted. Like I said, I'm not giving up the series. I'm not going to stop. But again, I, I don't know when I'm going to get to the breeding barn. Um, you know what I mean? We, we still need essentially, what, 200,000? Just a little less than 200,000. The most money we've won is 52,000. And I think that was off of a Hidden Valley win. And we did like a max win bet or a max show bet. So we would have to make sure we felt very confident we were going to win a race, do the max bet. 
that could work but if it doesn't work and we just lose money then we're just constantly going to be digging ourselves into a hole and like i said if i don't go that way and i just go the passive way of just entering myself in easy races not doing any major bets or elite or betting the minimal amount a very small amount and stacking it would take us like 40 wins at least 40 at the current purses at the current amount that the purse is offered and the prize pool which is usually four to eight k it would take us 30 to 40 wins minimum and that's without any hiccups of financial uh interruptions along the way in order to even get the breeding barn that, that that's just kind of ridiculous i just i don't know but like i said i've enjoyed playing the game i've enjoyed learning i just wish the grinding and some aspects just weren't so goofy because then it just, like I said, it just takes some of the enjoyment out of it. And then it just kind of, be, I just, it feels like it's a homework assignment. It's like, I'm playing a video game. I don't want to feel like this thing is so un, unreachable. You know what I mean? So like I said, you guys let me know uh, what you think as far as going forward. If you have any ideas, maybe there's some way to earn money in, uh, quicker and easier than I just, I just haven't thought about or I don't know about. Uh, feel free to let me know that in the comment section below. And we'll take it from there. Of course, we'll come back. I only have two horses I can raise. Hidden Valley, she's going to be done until at least, what, July of this year? So it's just going to be uh, Music Magic and Ralphina. And Ralphina clearly is not a good race horse. I only bought her because I want to use her for breeding. But again, I don't have the breeding barn to even retire her there. And Music Magic, she's our only hope. She's our only hope right now. So it's it's looking rough here at the Horse Racing Gamer Stables. Appreciate your love and support. Make sure to smash the like button. It does help out a lot. And share this video with others if you would like to do so on your social media platforms. And uh, like I said, we'll see where we go and how things uh, transpire. I'll continue to play this game until I literally cannot play it. Like the game actually forces me to quit or I'm bankrupt or, you know, whatever the case. Like that's the only way I will stop playing or at least the series will end. But I will continue to go. I just don't know how long it's going to take and... Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. Appreciate you guys on the support on the channel as always. Hopefully you did enjoy the longer video today. I hope it was a good watch for you. And, um, yeah, we'll be back with another episode here in due time. I would like to continue to play this game while all this is still fresh in my head. So do expect another episode probably to a similar length uh, relatively soonish. Maybe for sure within the next week, whenever this video is uploaded. Uh, I'll make sure to get back on that. So appreciate you guys. Much love. Until next time, of course, for the Gamer Sign Out. I hope you have a great and fantastic day. I'll see you later. And goodbye.